All right, uh, so you're Fei Long and Cammy. Okay. All right, yeah, you guys go in. Okay, first match of the night. LPN, I think, uh, didn't, he, didn't he win the uh, tournament last night at uh, Game Center, I think? Yeah. And uh, we'll listen to some of the commentary. I guess uh, he's, he's been playing Cammy quite a bit for, for well, quite he's been, Yeah, he's been playing Cammy for since 2012 came out, I think. And uh, I guess uh, some people say it's a character that kind of like fell off, but I guess he, he makes you think otherwise. Whoops. Yeah, she's always been good, but everybody else just kind of got worse. And then her normals got way better. So she's got solid frame traps and a really good dive kick. Stay long, always a menace. Yep. Just not as cheap. You know, yeah. he's, still, he's still got recos. Although you can punish it a little bit easier like you just saw there. He's gonna do uh Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely not safe. Oh gosh, four hit combo. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, tricky. That was like a counter hit, but I guess not. So yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, we got a we got a pretty stacked uh, Street Fighter 4 tournament today. We got uh, well Harrison on the mic right now, uh, and then uh, LPN USF Dom playing right now. Uh, SF Keith, um, RG Canada, Willpower, uh, Literate, Nothing Man, Lexi's here, uh, Jesse, Huda Man. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get these. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can get these brackets uh, posted up in the chat pretty soon as well. Uh, USF Don, nice corner pressure. Yeah, getting in there. Oh wow, that's not the way you want to throw him. Okay, oh. you got, okay, you got there lucky you go. there. Yeah. Uh, putting the pressure on LPN, which is kind of hard. Usually, uh, he's good at getting out of the corner. And uh, ties up. That's not bad. Yeah, you know, I think I played, uh, played this guy. I want to want to say I played this guy a while back. I don't know. There's a couple of Long players here, so maybe not. All right, so LPN's kind of blowing through his meter, but okay, there you go. He's basically. It seems like he just got to get LPN in the corner because he kind of yeah. fell apart that last round. Definitely, but now he's like, well, yeah, he's got a pretty sneaky lead. <laughs> oh, that's super tricky. Yeah, that's tricky in the corner. Yeah. I still have Ooh. no idea what to do. One too many crouching shorts. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of pressure. You know, I've seen bigger comebacks, so. Oh man. Oh, that's oh, good. That's heartbreaker. Look at an ultra that. Ooh, okay, all right. So that'll be it takes that first one. USF Dawn making a few adjustments. The battle has begun. Going right back into it. I don't know yet. I don't know if he's starting to get Okay. Oh man, again with that tricky dive kick. So is that like a true cross up then? Or like, how does that work? I mean, is it just. It's, yeah, it's a guess? cross up. It's yeah. like a guess. But then he has he has a cross up and then a non cross up. And then a cross up, non cross up normals. And then he has. He could just like dive kick and then just be on the ground and you have to get slow. Okay. It's just like an abundance of mix ups that you so, just can't really. So essentially, it. It's a 50 50 as soon as she leaves the ground. Yeah. And it's yeah, just yeah. whatever. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you can't DP out of it either. Which is what makes it uh, really strong. Uh oh. I don't really. I mean, I guess burn the meter. Wow. Oh, no. Okay. So that one went pretty, pretty quick. LPN takes it. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to have uh, Alex T and Sleeper up next, unless they're playing their match somewhere else. I know uh, SF Geep is uh, he's, uh, running uh, some matches in the back, so uh, bear with us one sec while we get the next match. Let me just record this one. Um, all right, so I need that bullhorn. Oh, there it is. All right, okay. Uh, Alex T and Oh, are they playing? They are. Okay. Uh, Zeta and uh, Mr. Tails. Zeta, Mr. Tails. What's that? You guys didn't play yet, right? You haven't played yet, right? Okay, you're up. You're at your Isaiah throws chairs, right? Okay. <laughs> and you're playing Zeta. 
Okay. So I know I, we probably have some Dan coming up. Uh, I can tell you that much. Uh, I don't know who Zeta plays, though, so we'll see. It looks Maybe like he plays on Forte or something? Maybe. Um, looks like you play LPN next. And oh, me. Around winners. Okay. Charrex. A wild Charrex appears. So this is the uh, the first, this is 4.1 of our new season here at uh, Southtown. Today we have, you guys are just uh, checking us out, we have Super Street Fighter 4, and we'll have uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken 2v2 after that, and then we'll be uh, finishing things off uh, with Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. So uh, that's uh, tonight, uh, Saturday night, uh, Snapback, and then tomorrow we have uh, Real Honor Sundays, which is uh, CBS 2 and uh, King of Fighters 13. That starts at 1 p.m. tomorrow. And uh, shout-outs to our sponsor, ADARC. Uh, the winner of each Rambat at uh, the end of the season, they'll receive a stick. So shout-outs to those guys. You can follow them on, uh, on Twitter, at ADARC. And uh, you'll probably see... Buy their stick. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah I actually have one. Uh, I, have the, I have the Fusion. And uh, those guys are awesome, man. At the KOF tournament, I threw my stick and I broke, and they, they gave me another one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying... Throw your, I'm not suggesting that you guys throw your stick and, and, and bug them for a new stick when you break it because you're an idiot like myself. But, At least uh, wait till it's already broken and then try <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, so that was nice to, to uh, hook it up. So. And uh, got uh, Mr. Tails on the... Nah, man, no, no goofy names. Come on, dude. And... Uh, <laughs> He had his name is down as Isaiah throws chairs. Is there a story behind that, or is that just the troll? Did he actually know. throw a chair? Isaiah, KOF, KOF Isaiah. It says Isaiah throws chairs. I, I, did he throw a chair? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah, no, he gets he gets pretty irritated. <laughs> All right, so we saw somebody in our guy that plays Yan. Yeah, uh, okay. So Yun versus Daniel, see, see how this goes. Oh, that looks like he's kind of jab happy right now. Uh oh. Oh man, he's got to punish that. But you got to take Yun's the opportunity against Yun. But Yun, like Yang, I mean, he's not like an awful character. Either. He's still decent. He's not. Oh, like he's still like. I still, I think he's still virtually the same character. I mean, <laughs> it's just like they're yeah. like, okay, so he can't double palm into a million damage anymore, <laughs> yeah. and he can't, um, he can't do the, his target combo. Right. And it's not safe anymore. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't super safe in the other one, but now right. you can really punish it. Okay. But yeah, I mean, he still has everything else. Okay. It's it's funny with these games, you know. Like uh, I was telling, you know, I post on Twitter. Think for yourself. You know, it's like I feel like as soon as something like somebody or people just get word like a character got slightly nerfed or something, yeah. just everybody drops them. You know, and uh, I don't know. I I I feel like people don't really like. I guess do the research themselves to see whether the character's still viable or not. Yeah, I almost just, it's like, I bet if all the people that played Yun stick with Yun, there'd still be like, we get to Evo and it'd still be like, you know, five Yuns and two Fei Longs and then it, like some other character and top eight at Evo. Uh, I'm, I'm, you just submit scores to, on yours and, and then I'll just, do what I, I'm just taking care of the stream station. So then everything else, yeah, just, just mark it down, yeah. So. Actually, uh, okay, so it's so it's uh, Isaiah maybe about to throw a chair. <laughs> yeah. What if, okay, so if Isaiah is watching and uh, and Martin loses, does he throw a chair? I mean, should throw a chair. I don't know. We got a next one laying around somewhere. Wow, he's give uh, the outer camera something to do. He's uh, going in right now. Wow. All right, we're gonna perfect. Wants it. Uh, are gonna get no. Hey, oh, nice oh no. All right, take it easy, man. You don't have to do anything too crazy. You got this. Oh no, man, that jumping neutral fierce from Yon is so good. Yeah, dude. It's one of those moves to just stay good. Oh, stay good from third strike. Yeah. <laughs> And Yun is still in this match right now. <laughs> yeah, now he has world. super. Now he can win this. <laughs> Take it easy, man. <laughs> just, you know. You know, just don't try and play footsies with Dan. Because he has none. Oh. 
That <laughs> whip. <laughs> okay. Ooh, right in the face. All right. 1 1. Well, that was. Oh, wait, no. I think that's 1 0. That's 1 0. Uh, at, least he, at least he brought it back a little bit. That was looking uh, perfect from Dan. That's, that's, that's you know. That's not something you want on stream. That's not something you want recorded. <laughs> that can happen, you know, when you're playing Xbox Live and then you just turn off the system. And then you, like, get put. Somebody records it. I, I, I just Googled myself. I, I YouTube myself the other day and it's just like a bunch of losses. I'm like, wow, I feel like a douchebag. <laughs> That had to be one time. I lost to this this boxer, and he put up a video with this long, like, like just essay on how he beat me. I'm just like, what the hell? Like, that was a random, like, Sunday afternoon stuff. Ooh, Ooh, okay. All right. Was that ju Jump Ears? Jump Ears? Yeah, okay. So, uh, Martin, Mr. Tails, up one. Is that a build himself a little meter here? We'll see what he can do with it. I, w I really, w I just want to see somebody throw a chair. Yeah, you know, I, I really, yeah, it's, that's the thing about uh, Southtown, man. People get really heated here. You know, flip a chair, you know, flip a table, anything. Throw sticks, you know, it's just, I think it's just because there's nowhere to go, man. It's this long broom closet. Yep. <laughs> and once you lose, just everybody's looking at you, and you're like, oh, God. Oh. They, should, they should just keep, like, an assortment of items in the back. And, like, <laughs> after you lose, all right, you get to choose one item, you get 30 seconds. <laughs> It's like like Dead Rising or something. Yeah. <laughs> break break with. Pick whatever you, you want. You go 0 2, you get to level up. <laughs> <laughs> oh you get to God. put nails in that bat. I don't know. Pretty, pretty close here. Right. Uh, is that a. He, need, he really needs it to stay in it. That's uh, patience in the corner, though. Ooh. Let's see what he does. Cool. One mix up. Okay. So he's definitely got the beat. Ooh. Wait, oh, Could he, uh, oh that's punishable. He's okay. Oyate! Oyashi! It all comes down to this. Fight! You know what I noticed? Is that the music song? There's no music, really right? quiet. It is. Is it on or is it just I think quiet? it's just, I think it's off. I can't hear it. And I was like, there's something just not it's right. Like, now you're just giving a reason for the stream monsters to say this game is boring. <laughs> it's, not, it's, like, it's like training mode, no sound. <laughs> yeah. God, why do we play this game, guys? Oh, Ooh. nice. Okay. So, yeah, Mr. Tails takes that one. Uh, looks like uh, it's you and uh, LPN uh, All right. is up next. So, Give it to Pablo? Uh, yeah. Okay, hey. the music's just really, really low. Hey, Pavel, what's up, man? Uh, not too much. Illiterate? Uh, so... Oof. I'm tired. I'm just feeling like fat and lazy nowadays. Fat and lazy? Yeah. Well, you're certainly looking. Like, yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> no, I just like, it's like, what am I going to do today? I'll go to San Francisco and play some video games. Maybe I'll get a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, well, I don't know, man. It was a pretty nice day in San Francisco. Uh, well, you're, you're what? Um, you're a little more south, right? San yeah, Mateo? yeah, San Mateo. Yeah. It, it's all right. I don't know. Just the wind kills. I'm always cold, like, all the time. I don't know how. Like in six, in like seventy degree weather, I could be cold. I need like a hoodie. So, uh, I love I'm hoodies. weird. <laughs> what uh, white guy doesn't love hoodies? Hansa Gonza, you love hoodies, right? There you yeah, go. Yeah, everybody loves hoodies, man. Well, I say, oh, only white people. Oh. You get shot wearing those hoodies nowadays, though. Oh yeah, I know gangs and stuff ruined it for for everybody, man. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh. This is really interesting to see so early in the tournament. Yeah, um, are we just that stag? It's, I mean, yeah, it's just, it just kind of shook out that way. And it's, I guess it's my fault because I looked at the bracket, but I mean, LP and already won one, so whatever, second round. Hey. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't really come out to this, I think this is like his first regular ramp bat. Uh, yeah, I think, I think he, he come out um, a little while back, I mean, for a handful of them, but uh, I know it's definitely, definitely been uh, some time. I think he, he lived in. East Bay somewhere. Who doesn't so. like Alameda? Alameda, yeah. So, get right into it. Uh, LPN Cami once again. Uh, Starbase Harrison. Uh, and for those of you who missed Starbase, that's actually going to be kicking back up in the gear. Gear, we're going to have a uh, stream going for Starbase on um, Wednesdays pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned. That's sick. Uh, oh, my bad. Um, so, uh, what do you know about this matchup, man? Any thoughts? I think it's probably really bad for Cody. Just because, like, Cammy is one of the best characters at safe pressure. Like, pressure you can't do anything about. And if Cody has a weakness, it's definitely when someone gets in on him. 
And not just that, but Long has like the dirtiest timing for frame traps, throws. Oh, that's like, true, yeah. And, and I guess, yeah, I mean, he, like, Cody, he has good anti-airs, but you have to be pretty specific in which one that you yeah, use. Exactly. And it seems like Cammy can come from a lot of different angles, like, to change the trajectory, trajectory beat with the, with the dive kick. Uh, and, uh, and then, you know, as you see right now, once he's down, it's like, what is he really going to do, you know? So, it's difficult because the pressure just, like, especially in the corner, like, then he's jumping into angles where, like, it's difficult to anti with anything. Like, he could try maybe close stand roundhouse, but that's, like, such a gamble. Oh, you yeah. You might as well, like, right. block at that point. But, like, even right there on all these knockdowns, like, this pressure is completely safe. And even though he got out of it right there, he, yeah. like, he made a good guess, but it was a guess, right? If right, you block yeah. that zonk, then... Would've been all bad. Never, never a good look when you really have to like just rely on Zonk to, to get by, you know. Every once in a while, like you have to make that gamble. Well, that was really smart beating the dust. Yeah, it just went right through it. Yeah, he'll do that like uh, you know, like Bison scissor kicks. If you time that just right, it's completely safe. Really, on the last hit, so really annoying. Ooh. Yeah, for like the longest time, Long was searching for characters to play with and i think this yeah. version of cammy has like everything he likes in a character yeah i was gonna say i i, I don't know um well didn't last night uh, i think it's uh, that game he switched center, to adon he switched to adon for just for grand finals though, just right? for marcos yeah just for marcos oh isn't that sweet <laughs> oh wow and even hits one of those you have to you have to do something on wake up like some invincible move i don't know if he has it though I think at this point Harrison just has to yeah just do something just like hit the right button in the right spot. There yeah, you go. I mean LPN's just been dictating the pace of the match almost the entire time, and uh, he just he just gets to one of those yeah situation where you just you can't just sit there and just wait for an opening. You gotta like you know force the issue and make yeah, something yeah. happen. This isn't as much of a game as like some of the other games. Like you could kind of sit back and like see what your opponent's doing yeah. and react like properly to it. But I feel like in this game like someone needs to take initiative. Oh definitely sure. yeah. Ooh. I think certain matchups are an exception, but it's, you know certainly like this one where you know. It's, oh, okay. So uh, it's help. tough. He yeah. needs to just like he he's not getting started is a big problem. Yeah. He's looking look a little hesitant right now. You know he doesn't really even know where where he wants to approach. Yeah. He seems like he seems like he kind of wants to play defense, but he's not stopping him from getting in. Yeah. And now now like Long is just like completely messing with him because even though he's in control of the match, he was like staying really far out. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Okay. All right. The punch. Now I started something. Ooh. Okay. All right. Half life. Going for the kick throw. Oh, wow. Smart to it. <laughs> so many. Short Ooh. forward. There you go. Yeah, very smart. Oh, that's no good. He's still he really, really no, he's still in really good shape at that yeah. point. Like when when you have that like 85% or higher life lead and you have them pretty much in the corner, like that's a tough one to get out of. Oh wow, like see that just cleanly beat his anti-air. Yeah. Wow, right at the gates. Oh, oh, he misses the punish on the back end. Oh my gosh, wow, Shin, Shin LPN just going in. <laughs> oh. It's so hard to stop this, in this game and in Cross Tekken, it's so hard to stop this character once he gets like, he's completely off. Wow, okay. So, uh, LPN takes that one. This is, uh, as, you, as you saw on the screen, this is, uh, uh, this is winner's round two. So, uh, we're making it happen here. Uh, see what we got up next. LPN, LPN uh, moves on. Hey. Um, actually, uh, let's see. See if maybe Harrison wants to get on the mic. Hey, Harrison. A Harrison, do you mind uh, taking the mic? Okay. Carry, carry. Hey. How was it? Oh, yeah. Forever proving that that matchup is horrible for Kennedy. That match is pretty bad. I saw him just like jump in and you anti-aired and it didn't even matter. Yeah. Like at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awful. Okay, actually you're up here. Oh, hey. Well, I'm gonna get... Hey, Harji. You wanna... Oh, you bringing a Harji on there? Just for one game. Right. 
So who do we have next? Uh, looks like Pavo and I think SFG. Ooh, that'll be good too. Yeah. That's always a good matchup. Ooh, it is. He's coming out of the woodworks with his backpack. I know for this matchup, Pavel actually goes to Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's not comfortable with the Yang, Yang and Geef matchup, so he actually goes to Cody for this one. It's it'll still be a good matchup. It's definitely not like in Cody's favor. It's like maybe five five or something. Yeah. I think he just likes it better than Yang, just because Yang relies more on dive kicks, I think, than Yun. Well, like, Rom said, like. Yang does okay against Geef, but since Pavo, he doesn't really know the matchup, so he, yeah, like, he he rather plays Cody because he's he's more comfortable with his pokes and normals. Yeah. Who will emerge the champion? Fight! Right now, we got a lot of people here today at South Town since it is the first tournament for this season. So. A lot of. Not only there's a lot, is there a lot of people here, but there's a lot of people that I haven't seen before, which yeah. is always good. Or a lot of people that haven't been here in a while. Like a good 30% like I've never seen ever. Yeah, so neither, yeah, absolutely. Which is good. I, yeah. I like that. More people to the scene. Yeah, it just means more people are buying and playing the game, so. Or they finally came to a tournament. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> They've been playing the game for four years. Oh, well, might as well come out now, guys. It just started. It's oh. at EVO for the third time. I might as well show up for this one. Might as well start playing now, right? <laughs> it's like, the game's not old. It's still yeah. kind of new, right? Might as well start playing. Because if you never go to a tournament, <laughs> you're automatically a pot monster, even though you've never been in a yeah. tournament. The first time you go to a tournament, it's like free you pot might as, Yeah, you might as well just like <laughs> save your money and then just give it to the first place guy, because... It's your first tournament, man. Like, you will get nervous. Pablo just totally took that out of content. Context. <laughs> oh, like, he, said he just heard you might as well just give your money to the first place. <laughs> oh, never mind. Pablo's actually going with Seth this one. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, because if he gets hit, it's like over. Damn, so much damage. And, but like, he doesn't have Jumping Fierce anymore that he had to yeah. keep him out. And it's like the only thing he really has matchup is, like, the Fierce, like the Long Range Line, and, and Fireball. He's tangent too. Yeah. Because it's plus like 21 on block or something, so he can pressure with it. If he spaces wrong though, yeah. he has a free grab though. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's the thing. That's the one thing he's going to have to worry about, and then it, it could be over. Yeah, so. that's true. Alright. So, Pavo, the literate, has Seth, and SF Keith, of course, has a Keith. Yeah. He's yeah. looking good so far for uh, a literate. Yeah. Like, you kind of zone him out. Trying to get him to jump at least. Because Seth's uppercut is actually like one of the best uppercuts in the game. Yeah, I was actually talking about that with um, Kaneda. Because Seth's regular uppercut is the best, and then Akuma's EX uppercut is the yeah, best. Yeah, the best, yeah. And the third is Dan, I think. Ooh, oh, here we go. This Mix up time. Alright, has the corner, but Seth does have teleport. Yep. yep. See? Oh, oh, he he read read the, oh, oh that man, was he read so that. Close. That's the thing about Seth players, like, if they have two meters, like, they will uppercut. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, they have nothing to lose almost. Alright. Alright. Trying player. to get in. He's gonna have another opportunity. Yeah. So, right now, oh, he's maybe not anymore. Again. Yeah. Because it's looking kind of bad for Geef, because he only has one meter. That's about it. But, like, Paul with two meters, so he basically, like, gets a free uppercut. Alright. Very good spacing by Paul. Oh, man. He throws out the jab Sonic Boom, so it slows down and... Oh, do we get to see SF Geef with his headphones again? Like, jamming out? Yeah, he's jamming out right now. At MCR, if you guys didn't see it, he was like... He had a... I don't know what song he was playing, but he was like bobbing his head along. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, SVD. See All what he right, does. He a mix up. Oh, see, Man, see, why would you just eat it? Oh, he read I, the grab right. He could have, like, stunned them, couldn't he? Yeah. Like, but, done a headbutt and then a green hand. He probably could have gotten 400 damage out of that. Well, well I think he's uh, he's probably still, like, a little scared, so he wants to keep him away, though. So, like, to uppercut. Yep. Ooh. But, I mean, he even did a heavy SPD. He didn't even go for, like, oh, yeah, the other the other grab. Wow. He beats the Larry. And now he has a corner because of head stomp. Oh, he's yeah. probably a little too far. Oh, traded, but unfortunately he has a stun. Wow. I think he knew it. Maybe yeah. he knew it. I don't know. Well, like, I think he has a lot of stuns, so yeah. I kind of lose track. And who who's ever worrying about like stunning Zangief? Yeah, nobody. That's true. Yeah, nobody. Cause like most of the time, it, like it's just like a slow match most of the time. 
you, yeah, exactly. You know, like you get like 15 seconds where you're not hitting him, so you figure you just go away. Yeah, so it seems like Paulo is taking the same approach as last game. He's playing it slow. Okay, here we go. This is the uppercut again. That's the second time he actually misjudged the uppercut. Okay, there we go. Okay. You know, Pavo, you know, he realizes he's up a game. Yeah, so... so he's going to take the risk to get out. That's true. One uh, more hit. Wow. So Pavo probably tried to uppercut, but I like, probably got stuck then. Damn. He kind of, you know, just went yeah. for it, I think. Figured like, he would, you know, mash SPD or something. And plus, like, the reason why, like, he didn't cancel it, because, like, he's going to die anyway. Yeah. Uh, so... Deep with full meter, but Pavel still has those three meters, so he does have one safe DP at least. Well, uh, do you know if Seth's uppercut is safe after the cancel unblock? Uh, the uppercut because I know for Shoto, it's basically a free ultra for you, but uh, like I'm not sure if it's safe. Um, I'm not sure because I know they nerfed it, right? Yeah. So now it's not as good it. anymore. Yeah. At least they nerfed the second hit part. I think the first hit part's still good, right? I think so. Like because I think they were like, well, that's kind of cheap. Yeah, can, right. like, yeah, he can do the Ken stuff where he can, you know, do short or either like grab. Yeah. All right. So. Well, I mean, he can hit confirm and save meter. Oh yeah, that's all. Sure. Yeah. So, Pavo has a really good lead. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. Pavo or uh, SF Geef needs to do something. Change Pavel, the song or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Jam out to something else, like, cause it's looking really bad, like, Paul with full meter. He kinda jumped into that uppercut right there, too, after he FADC that fireball. Well, like, he probably noticed that SXG, like, hasn't actually neutral jump in, so, so that's why, like, he canceled it. Okay. So, well, I mean, uh, as of Geef, he kinda jumped into the uppercut yeah. when he saw the FADC fireball. It's kinda, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Well, I mean, he kinda delayed it that time, but. Pavo doesn't need to do anything crazy, he can just sit back, throw some sonic booms, and keep him out, because... Seth looks like the slimmer version of the Kool-Aid guy. A <laughs> buffer <laughs> <laughs> version of the Kool-Aid guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna get him. Oh, okay. that's gonna be... A damage. lot of damage. It's not going to be as much as Ultra <laughs> 1, but it's so gonna much. But he's going to get another mix up. Oh! oh no. That was good. Yo, that was so smart. Yeah. He did the X1. Yeah. Best of got? No. No. Sagat? No. <laughs> So me and Pavo invented this game. It's called Best Sagat. <laughs> and uh, basically what we do is somebody that's good picks Seth and the other person has to pick Sagat. And the other person basically just has to win with Sagat because that's like a terrible matchup. So oh, if you okay. win, you're, if you <laughs> you, win, you're the best, best Sagat. <laughs> that makes sense. Try it at your house. And Whoever's playing Sagat will just get frustrated and probably want to quit the game. So Pavo has the best Sagat though? No, I have the best Sagat. Oh, you have the best Sagat? I have the best Sagat. I proved it at NCR. <laughs> You played Sagat at NCR? No, no, we were playing Best Sagat. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so we have Willpower and uh, some other dude. Uh, DKT. DKT, yeah. Oh, um, DKT. I see him around at Sunnyvale Golf Line and Mopitas Golf Line. Like, lately, he's been going out to tournaments lately, like at uh, Mopitas, so... He's fairly new to the tournament scene, but I see him like back in the vanilla days at, at, at um, Sunnyvale Golf Line, though. Oh, really? Yeah. If you want, you can. Yeah. That was fun. I'm gonna have to play a Viper next game, I bet. Maybe. I mean. No, it's just my luck. Oh, okay. that always happens. Really I have to play, dude. NCR 10 is the first NCR I've never planned to play a Viper. That's good. Yeah. I I was really Are close. If I beat Mac Chow, I would have got to play with Yeah. And uh, I did get to play with Keith in casuals though. When, uh, I got to play. When we were all playing. Yeah, yeah, we were yeah, all yeah. playing him. 
He's, he's really fun to play against. Like, I was yeah. not expecting that. Yeah. I was expecting, like, the dumbest stuff to just happen to me and, like, me to not be able to deal with it. But I was like, no, this guy's, this guy's thinking with his brain right now. Yeah. It was interesting. Ooh, okay, okay, Guile. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be a super boring matchup. No, no. Uh, DKT, he plays in, like, uh, Sunnyvale Golf Land. He's been, like, coming up recently. He's been traveling out. His favorite buttons are Fierce and Fireball. That's everybody's favorite button with Guile. Oh, no, but he... Okay, are we going to see something fierce. special? <laughs> You're going to see... Are we going to see, fierce. like, combo Fierces? Okay, we got counter hits. We're going to see him Fierce just because he can. And I respect that. So, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard. Guile can obviously punish his Dread Kick with Flash Kick, but he's going to be probably not charging anyway. So, man, loving that Fierce. Just like you said. I think uh, I think the early issue is just not anti-air. That's a really hard one. But, I mean, he has him right where he wants him now. Ooh. I don't really. I, agree I don't even know with what that, that was. Yeah, I don't really yeah. agree agree with the FADC, but whatever. But, but can you disagree with the result? Absolutely not. <laughs> Ooh, there, there we go. go. There's a muscle. Oh. Dude, Guile's focus is an underused move. Dude, it is so good. It, it has really like, so good. much range. Yeah. It it charges up pretty quick. It's a pretty solid move. Let's see how well. Wow. I think, you know... I think they're both just, like, swinging. It's like, I think both people are kind of like, well, I might as well get a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think any... Either either of them are probably, well, that, that, that sucks. Because <laughs> I don't think either of them knew who was going to win right there. Yeah, it's difficult. They seem like... Like, they both play charge characters, but it seems like they're more interested in, like, just getting straight up in your grill. Well, yeah, you kind of have to. I mean, DJ is probably going to lose the Fireball War. Oh, yeah, he, he definitely is going to lose the uh, Fireball War. But even Guile, like, he, he necessarily doesn't have to get in there. Like, I, I enjoy that he's, like, covering his ground when he throws the Fireballs. Even though he's in... Okay, there you go. Now he's not in corner. Yeah, now he's got a full screen. This looks eerily like the way the last match happened. <laughs> Wow, get lucky with that crouching sword. Oh, yeah, Will's no. taking a lot of like see Will's like still the aggressor and like to the point where now they're even. Oh wow. Oh no. He, he I, thought he was gonna block it, you know, so you're trying yeah, to go yeah. for a counter hit setup. Oh double sweep? We do though. Wow. Yo! Flash kick. Why not? So good. Three it, frames. It is a pretty good... Is it three? Yeah, it's I three thought frames. it was a four frame move. No, I think it's jab one, or a short one, three frames. Huh, possibly. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, like, I think that one was all... Both rounds could have been Will's rounds, but, like, for some reason, something in his body told him, like, I have to get in yeah. right now. So it's 1-0 right now, right? Yeah, it is. The one thing uh, Willpower has to be aware of is if... DKT starts using his crouching fears as an anti-air, and he needs to take advantage of that and just neutral or not hitty buttons when he jumps in. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Being able to change your jump arc in a fighting game is an incredibly useful, yeah. just, like trait to have. It's really evident, like whenever you see someone do those late, late, late dive kick with a Lucas player, and their their anti-air just like completely works. Yeah. All right, so. It looks like Will figured out what to do. Yeah. Sometimes you sometimes you do need to make the mistake to go oh to just like remember like oh. Oh yeah. I shouldn't do that ever again. That's so, so let's see what Willpower does, because before he's kinda rushing him down, like there's no reason. He can just sit there and not do anything. Now he put himself in the corner. Yeah, he did. Well, he's right out of it. He figures, you know, yeah, I have like enough, at, life, at this enough point, of a life lead. At this point, now that he's gotten away, he doesn't have to hit any more buttons. See, what is, he's just rushing in. What are you doing? Run away. It's Guile. He, he, his pressure is like the worst in the game. Yeah, it's very difficult to pressure well with Guile. Because the thing is, when you're trying to pressure with Guile, what you're doing is you're essentially losing charge most of the time. Yeah, yeah, you're losing damage when you're walking forward, so... All he has is like jab, 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 fierce punch. It's like, yeah, yeah, the short, uh, standing short, 
I mean, what he what he does have is once he gets like to that real nice right in your face zone, he could do those um the forward roundhouse, the command move, because it goes under load. Oh yeah. There but we go. but usually it's difficult to do your damage in like solid chunks of dial, just because like the combos, like the timing is so tight. Yeah. It seems like DKT's figured it out kind of what he needs to do too. Yeah, it seems like, you know, Wolfpower's gotten lazy. He's like, well, I'm probably just going to beat him anyway, so I'm just going to start doing <laughs> random stuff. And then DKT's like, no, not going to happen, bro. And see, wow, see, nice, nice read yeah. right there. You saw, that, uh, you saw that jump in with no buttons, you know. Throw down that uh, standing pierce instead of crashing pierce. And it wasn't just that, it was also seeing the range that he was jumping in at, that down pierce would have completely whiffed right there. Oh, there we go. Nice set up. He might be dead. Oh, for some reason, like, couple hit. Wow, that is so much damage. Yeah. That is one of the most damaging ultras is in the game. Yeah. How much damage is there? I'm not 100% sure, but once you charge it to level 2, it is, it is, it is dirty. So, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I never know this. Does, like, the levels for ultras, does it, like, infinitely scale, or does it, once you get to level 2, it does this much damage, and level 1 does this much damage? Level 1, like, uh, there's no, like, level 1.5, right? It's just, when you reach that midway point, you have a level 1 ultra, and then when you reach full, you have a level 2 ultra. And oh, okay, cool. alright. That's when, that's why, like, that's when Wake Up Ultra becomes, like, a really serious issue for some people. Because when you get that level 1 Ultra, it doesn't hurt all that yeah. bad if you get Wake Up Ultra on. But if you get level 2 Ultra, depending on the character... Like Cody? Yeah, oh my god. You don't want to get hit by that Ultra, you just die. Yeah, it could be over. So, Will's turning it around right now. Dial still has full meter. Probably not going to be able to do much with it anyway. Wow, he's spending way too much meter right now. I mean, spending one bar is fine. Like, yeah. Whatever. But spending two bars, that's that's a lot. That's a flash kick he could have made safe. Oh, it's over. I didn't even know. It's over. <laughs> oh, oh, snap. No. He's, he's going to try to kill your friend. What? You're right. It's four frames. I'm bad. Yeah. I thought it was three frames. No, I don't I'm know sorry. why. I, I have so many numbers in my I'm head. I'm usually so good with frame data, but I apparently can't, not. I can't tell you what the numbers mean, but I have so many numbers in my head. This should be... This is, like, good enough to be a grand finals in, like, a big tournament. Yeah. Yo, this is like Hadokan 20 right here. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 like, only a few people play Street Fighter 4 now, and then there's just, like... Oh, just everyone's just good, yeah. Yeah, everyone, yeah. All the bad people left. They're all playing. The, all, God, man, I don't want to play LPN for the 20th time. Yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you a quick question. Persona 4 fighting game, what do you think about it? From what you've seen. I only know it's coming out. Oh, okay. I literally know nothing else about the game. You should, honestly, when you get some spare time, you should watch the match videos. Is that... Tell me some characters, because I might have seen something. Oh my god, dude. I don't know any of their names, because I, I just didn't Just tell play, me what uh, they look like. They just look like like high school kids, kind of. But they oh, have okay. like they have like JoJo's like Bizarre Adventure kind of stand. Okay, I don't know what Kind of characters with them. Okay, so... Just tell me... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, really not difficult. that hard. Just no, tell no, me no. what they look like. Because like the kids are all super stereotypical, like just like kids, right? Like high school kids. Okay. But they have all these monsters. They have their own personas. Yeah. So like that factors into their abilities and what they could do and like certain special moves. So like you have this one character, but then you have another character that you don't have that much control over. But like every once in a while, you can make them pop out and do stuff. Yeah. So like some some characters are like there's the kid. There's a kid with a folding chair. And he has a grapple persona. Okay. And he puts you in like 50-50s all day. He puts you into like this weird okay. mode where... <laughs> okay, like, I am literally don't even care. Okay, fine. I know it is. <laughs> Where's the Kappa singer? Well, I'm... That sounded amazing, Kappa. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we have LPN and Hootaman. You know, LPN's probably just gonna go in. Uh, last time Hootaman fought LPN, he clicked Sagat, and apparently Hootaman blew him up. So, let's see what he does with the Aidon. Yeah, I'm surprised. 
like I haven't really seen him play all that much Adon, even though he used to be his main. Yeah. But he he brought out Adon and he won like 6-0 against Marcos. Yeah, I saw night. that. Or I heard about that. Oh, looks like Harrison's up right now. Off stream. Oh, I guess I'm up. Damn it, I want to commentate this match. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Harji's got it. Yeah, this is this is one of those matches where I've been playing Street Fighter for four years and I could not tell you how this works. Yeah, right, the Honda. <laughs> like Well, the only matchup I seen this happen was back two years at Evo when it was Gamer Me versus Mike Ross and Oh yeah, and Mike Ross Ron. Like this should actually be a really good match for Honda. Yeah. If my memory is not mistaken. I figure just having like Light Punch Headbutt or EX Headbutt is good. Yeah, but uh, Adon also has like a safe jump setup too. Oh yeah, he does. Adon has a ton of safe jump setup. The uh, oh wow, it's such a sick cross up. He always pulls that out and it always works. But see, the thing that LPM is doing is he's making sure that Hudeman is using up his meter yeah, so he doesn't have yeah, like, much so, so like he's so he, he's actually able to jump in. But right, oh, good bait right yeah, there. Yeah, very good very bait. Smart. And then uh, overhead. Yeah, so like the AX one is actually like an overhead. That's like yeah, it is. Them. Yeah. You can't crash block that. The other ones you can crash block yeah. if you want. So. so it lures you into like this false sense of like I could do this. Yeah. So. Wow. Oh, he baits it again. Yeah. Very close to chip damage. So one combo to hand. Game very close. Oh wow! Yeah, there's not much you could do. You know it's coming, yeah. but when it's coming is like a completely different yeah, story. All my commentators are leaving. <laughs> Playing uh, commentary musical chairs here, man. Everybody's got it matches like in losers and stuff. It's really interesting because at the start it was like totally LPN. Yeah. And then the next match was like Buddha Man like figured it out like fairly quickly, and now we're at this like weird. Oh God. So I mean, any thoughts on why? And you guys might have been talking about this earlier. Why he put, uh, picked uh, Adon over Cami? I don't know. I would, I would imagine Cami would be better in this match. He maybe he just has more experience playing Hudeman with with it on. I mean, I know this is definitely not the first time that they've uh, they've met in tournaments. So. Oh yeah, yeah. And I mean, just like he plays him like such a a really fast like 50-50 over and right. over again type of character whenever he plays Adon, because he always has two bars. Like, see, he has the two bars right now. His throw timing, his use of normals, oh. and those kicks. Like, it's so hard to react to those. Japan actually, uh, I think they ranked Adon as high tier for 2012, really? which is surprising because like I never really see Adon footage or just like not from Japan. Well, I mean, not that I'm like like watching like Japanese footage all the time, but it's definitely not a character that comes up often in pretty much any any sort of footage. But uh, yeah, they put him. I think they put him in like top ten or something. Yeah. So. Oh, good read right there. He reads a back dash too. And now he's in like, oh god. No one wants to stop hitting button. Oh. Nice uh, juggle there. I really like how consistent LPM has been at baiting the headbutt in like all forms. Like he'll jump and then he'll do that late flip in the air. Or when he crosses him up, he won't hit any button. So, because if you, if you do an air normal or something and you land, it has about three recovery frames on it, regardless of what button you push. So like, if he tried to cross up right there, and he did the auto-click in the butt, it would've hit him. Oh, okay. But because he did nothing, he could block him again. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, Hootaman's gonna make something happen here, man. He's, uh, this is uh, match point for LPN. Oh yeah, wow! He just hasn't been able to connect with any of his meters. Uh, yeah, yeah, none of his headbutts are working for or, or anything, really. Yeah. Really, that's the thing. Is like yeah. all the headbutts are getting baited and punished. Okay. That's the start of something right there. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, he hits like a tank, so you can never really count on to out. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. Ooh, that's no good. Like, oh! Oh, no super? Wow! Maybe, wow, I that might come back to Hana. Maybe he didn't have charge? I don't know. May, might have not have had any charge. Yeah. He might be thinking, okay, well, I still have another round to go. I don't know how much. No, how he much doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, LPN. It's that sponsor power up, man. It's that TFA, TFA juice, yeah. man. Once you get sponsored? <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's see who we have up next. I think it's, uh, I think it's Jesse and Nothing Man. Uh, Jesse and Nothing Man. Jesse and Nothing Man. Where's Nothing Man? Give it this. Give it a sec here as we uh, get these matches sorted out. I uh, think like, like usually like sometimes I'll see people that yeah. I don't see very often playing the game, and Nothing Man is one of those guys where I was like I don't really know who this guy is, and I played him once. Yeah. And since that day, I've never been able to understand the decisions he makes. Well, he's a Fortnite player, man. What do you expect? <laughs> no, no, but uh, it's like... Uh, hold on one sec. No, uh, nothing Man! There he is. Nothing Man! Is he here? Nothing Man! No, oh, Hanzo Danzo, you look so cute oh, in the corner. Okay. Alright, we go. All right. But the, the better way is... He plays Fuerte, and then if Fuerte doesn't work, he goes to Dalsim, which is like the whole world like flipped over. Yeah, you know he uh, he's really he's he's um, it's funny his his style translates pretty much the exact same in every game. Like he has that same sort of style in Third Strike too. I play mm -hmm. him and, uh, and he plays Q, and I've I've had a handful of matches with him in that game, and uh, just never know what he's gonna do. And yeah, like yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was getting like really irritated. I'm like you're so random. Yeah, Come exactly. On. And it's like but if it's working, I know, and that's the thing. It's like if you're getting hit by it, and like y you know. You're just eating like rush punches to the face, or you know, <laughs> not blocking splashes, or you're just getting mauled, and it's your fault, you know. And it's yeah. like you can call it is that, that random weird double edged sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you call it random all day long, but it doesn't matter if you're not playing. You know. So, uh, so this should be an interesting um, match, and so that's yeah, that's so that's the story with Nothing Man. Uh, Jesse, you know, he's uh he's actually been around for a while. Uh, I think he still yeah. plays the guy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he does he, play he, the guy. Still okay. And uh, he uh, old school like Keystone player actually. Uh, he used to roll through there with Lexi every once in a while, and uh, you know he's yeah he's been all the the Hado cons and you know he's all NCRs, but uh, uh, I don't think you know I haven't really seen him make it out of Norcal too much. Um, no, I I can't think of a time where he's like visited an out of state major or anything. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, but if there's one thing I like to see, it's uh, a Sagat player, man. So, uh, let's see, let's see, see, see what he comes up with. Oh, uh, looks like they're oh they're switching sides. Okay, so uh, that awkward dance. Yeah. The worst feeling in the world is when you're looking at your bar in the middle of a match and you realize it's not your bar, it's yeah. the other dude's bar. And it's and it's uh, you know, and that's happened to everybody mm -hmm. at, at some point, you know. So okay, yeah. Let's, let's How does now. this match go? I would I guess it goes pretty good for Sagat. It might uh, not. I mean, well, I mean, he's tall, so you gotta be, you gotta be careful, you know. Once, once Forte's oh, on yeah. him, it's, it, it's rough. Uh, you just gotta look, you just gotta look for, um, you gotta look for the uh, wall jumps, and you know, uh, honestly, it's like in, in the matches I've had, it's like you almost have to be more random than Forte with tiger knees and like car tiger knees, try to catch him off the wall and uh, stuff yeah, like that. If, if he's running and stuff, he can block. Yeah, and then like car uppercuts, uh, forward roundhouse, anything to kind of catch that that range that he's gonna be airborne in. Uh, I, and as far as I know, if you, and this is from the older games, so I don't know if it still works in this game, but uh, if you block a splash, I think you do crouching short into, into EX fireball or EX low tiger shot, I think is a punish. So Sagat so has some things uh, to, to oh. can make it work for him, but uh, oh, but you know, again, he's so immobile and such a huge target, it can, as you see right now, you can get a lot of trouble real quick, you know, so. Oh my god, look at that! Yeah, yeah. That was, <laughs> looks, like, I was gonna ask uh, how well the DP does against his like air shenanigans, <laughs> but... It looks yeah, funny. I mean, every once in a while you can uh, fire off the, uh, I think, a jab DP and, you know, get an auto crack or something and get lucky, but it's, uh, I think typically against Forte, you're either gonna be, like, focusing or look for a block and try to, try to punish, you know, so... Uh, oh my god. 
Oh wow, everybody's getting high. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this whole arcade is going nuts with this Forte play. Oh. Oh wow, I didn't even know you could punish that. <laughs> he just does it again. Oh, ooh, okay, nice throw. Okay. That's All exactly right. what he needed. So, okay, see right there is like Tiger Uppercut mm. City, or Car Tiger Uppercut City. Rob's guy, you gotta look for it, you know? I remember back in, uh... Oh god. Wow. That's an interesting trade. But he could dash some chips in there. Oh my gosh. I remember back in Vanilla, like, I, I never really had practice against El Forte, and I played some dude at a tournament, and it was yeah. just like the worst feeling in the world. It's like the point where I had to break down the match. Because, especially with Boxer, like, I didn't really have any, like, move to get him off me necessarily. Oh, yeah. So I just, I boiled it down to, if I really want to guess against him, I'm either, I can either focus and hold it, because it'll beat the splash, and it'll beat the, uh, the running slide. Ooh! Yeah. But, if he, I, if I think he's gonna grab, then I just have to move with him. Okay. That, that's how I play. I mean, I assume with with any any character who plays this matchup, it's just you gotta. Uh, as you I was saying earlier, you have to be more almost more random than Forte, you know. And uh, or at least like, if you like you're saying, predict yeah. what he's gonna do. Yeah. That that goes like a long way. Oh, definitely. If, they, if he does, if he gets in a pattern, then mm. that's it's a totally different story. But uh, you know, that's it's that's real. In my experiences, that's really the case. Usually, they're just all over the place, you know. <laughs> if you could get on their wavelength, like yeah. That's oh wow. There's that random you're talking oh. about. <laughs> oh wow, that cross up fierce, man. That's so gnarly, man. See, now he's doing the highs and lows. He did the focus to bait the uppercut. Like, he's thinking about what he's doing. It's just all happening Ooh, okay. so fast. Oh, okay. He hit him. Oh wow, nice. Okay, he took off a nice chunk right there. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty even. Uh, nothing man up on meter. Oh wow. Oh, that's exactly what he needs. Bing! <laughs> Is he dead? Oh my gosh. Yo, wow, he's alive. I thought, man, that's... That I, think was the, I think it's the focus. Was it, oh, okay, yeah. What it does yeah. is, uh, with damage scaling, if you, do, um, if you do a focus, it counts as two hits for damage scaling, and if you do an ultra, it counts as two hits for damage scaling. So, oh, so focus really... that crumple to ultra, you're doing like 70 or 60% with your ultra. I got you. Okay, that makes sense then. There you go. I love old. that drop kick normal. Like, it's so, it like hits twice and it like avoids normals on the ground. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that almost like. And now he's reading him. Oh. I didn't see him go for too many grabs actually after the run. Ooh, wow. Barely got got out of there with that back dash. Oh, it's very very tense right now. Yeah. Ooh! I don't, I don't think he's gonna kill him though. No, nah, I'm trying to kill him. But yeah, he's gonna put him in the guessing game is a real problem. That, that's true. He's you know, gonna have to get splash or get a grab. Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay, that was a good match. <laughs> I gotta say that was pretty entertaining. All right, let's see who's up next. Um, oh my gosh. Um, actually, it's you and uh, Willpower. Hey, so. Uh, really? We're gonna try to get uh, another commentator on here. Let me see. Uh, I don't know if these guys are still playing their matches or what. Oops. So uh, once again, thanks for joining us today, guys. Uh, I took a look on my phone. It looks like there's a lot of other streams going on. I think there's a power-up stream, and I know that uh, Fight for Youth Clockworks uh, tournament is uh, going on right now. It looks like there was a lot of people watching that. Not sure if that's still going on, but uh, last time I checked. So, thanks for uh, taking the time to uh, check us out. Uh, we are making uh, pretty pretty good progress. Uh, as you see, we are winners round three. Um, after this, we're gonna have Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and then we're going to end the night with Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom Three. We have Windsor on the house. Uh, we have Hanzo Gonzo, uh, among some others. So that should be. Uh, should be pretty good. So, uh, let's see. So this is gonna be a good match. You got Illiterate versus uh, Willpower. Uh, Illiterate, to my surprise. Uh, last time I played, uh, you played Seth, which is kind of crazy. And um, Willpower uh, always plays DJ. I don't know if I've seen him play any other character ever. So.
Harrison's back in there. All right, cool. What up, peoples of iPlayWinner.com? All right, so it looks like you won your match versus Cool Cun. What what uh, what went down there? Was that the Bonka player? I don't know. I'm Was just looking at the bracket. One? I'm looking oh. at the bracket. <laughs> Wait, did you play Judo Trip already? You play two? Yeah, I play two. Oh, you play two? Yeah. You win them both? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, as I was saying, this is this should be a pretty good match. Uh, so wait, who did you go with? I didn't, I didn't catch it. Okay, so he's sticking with Yang this time, and uh, I think well, he's always picked Yang though. But no, he played Seth earlier in the tournament. Again, oh well, in this, this matchup. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, earlier in the tournament, I, I just I never seen uh, Illiterate play uh, Seth, so kind of crazy. So uh, pretty pretty strong start. Uh, pushes Willpower to the corner. Willpower is definitely I think one of the more patient players uh, in in NorCal that I've seen. Man, he will. I mean, I played him personally, and he'll definitely wait it out. But uh, as you see, sometimes that can work against you and have a hard time in the corner. Yeah, and Yang, it's like, man, so frustrating. Because you want to play patient, but I mean, you gotta, you can't just let him get in yeah. at the same time. Right. I guess that can be said for pretty much any dive character. Yeah. Any character in this game has a, a, a dive kick. Now, the Ooh. thing about Pavo is, like, I've noticed you know, playing him so many times that he doesn't he doesn't really feel comfortable about autocorrect DP. Mm -hmm. Which is like it's not that hard I guess, but like with, with Yang you mean? Yeah, or, I think okay. he feels, you know, if he messes up it's like, oh crap, I'm gonna lose like a third of my life, so but that's one thing to consider. If you play a Shoto character, you definitely need to learn how to do that. That's like you go from getting jumped in on for free yeah. to never getting jumped on ever. Yeah. Or at least having a chance, you know. Keep, keeping him honest, you know. So, uh. Pavo looks like he's going to work right now. Definitely. And, I mean, Willpower has the meter to make something happen. Okay. <laughs> as I say that, just. I know he's, he's looking for that last Ooh. match. Oh, and that whiff. Wow, could have killed him. Yeah, that's, uh. I guess there's a distance thing there. Uh, that's sort of a rare miss from. Willpower. I think he thought Houston. he was in the corner, so maybe yeah. he didn't need to dash Ultra. I don't know. Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense, too. It's the yeah, you usually always hit that, so... Some characters, you don't even need to dash, you just need to, like, walk forward a tiny bit, and then ultra. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the characters that do that, so... Wolfpower just has to sit back on his ass, and just charge, and then wait for him to jump in. That's all he needs to do. Yeah, I guess, I mean, it's... Like, right there, he's just kind of yeah, dive-kicking in for free, like, I don't know. I forget what that, the, the uptick special is, the jackknife I think it's called, I'm not sure. I just call it upkicks. Upkicks. Oh no, okay. Oh, we got shenanigans. Man, willpower back in the corner once again. He needs to, he really needs to make some, there needs to be a shift in momentum here if he wants to even have a chance of uh, taking this. He's just been on the defensive the entire time. I should jump out of that uh, man grab. Basically, Pablo didn't really have anything to lose right there if he hit that command grab, and you know, if he got punished for it, he still had a big life lead. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Pablo's kind of just... Get him. Uh -oh. oh, he missed Pablo it. was lucky. He's, just, man. he's been really inconsistent with that, uh, with hitting that ultra, man, and uh, I've seen him do it a lot, but then there's other tournaments where I've seen him not do it as much, you know? Yeah. yeah this is definitely one of them so far, so... Well, he was good. I, the last match he played on stream, I think he hit it a couple times. But uh, I mean, maybe this is you know everybody's. Well, I guess it's not everybody's first tournament since NorCal because or NCR because yeah. I mean there's TNT and Game Center and all sorts of stuff. Oh, right here. Oh, okay. Um, I report it to SFG if you don't mind. Yeah. Oh man, I think he tried to go for uh, dead cakes right there. This is where Pavo starts throwing out random gimmicks, command grabs, all sorts of wow. stuff. Wow. Yeah, very solid play by Illiterate. You know. I gotta say, that was very... He's just on point the entire time. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kaneda and Upop are up next. Uh, Kaneda and Upop! Alright, there you are. Uh, Terry? Yeah, you play Terry. Do you see him? Okay, alright. 
Oh. Okay, there he is. Okay. Hey, you're up on stream. So uh, this will be the uh, last match in round three. And it looks like they're, they are tearing through the uh, loser's bracket, too. So maybe we'll start running some of those on stream uh, for, for a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Still winners, Pavo? Here, let me, let me put, put him on the mic. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what happened. I just, like, sat down and kept slashing. That's what you do with Yang. Yo, no, like... I remember a long time ago, no, not too long ago, I was watching Japanese players, and I was like, well, everything after the first slash is unsafe. Why would you slash more? And then... That's like saying, well, the third wreck of Fei Long is unsafe. It's like, well, duh. But like, yo, I, w I just keep slashing and it works if, for If everybody only did safe stuff in this game... That's true. That is also true. Uh, nobody would play this game. I'm saying that right now. It would be super boring. Nobody would get anything done. It would just be like SF cross tacking with timeouts. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm interested in seeing the future of that game. I'm pretty sure we're on a commercial break. Oh, yeah, never mind. So this is going to be interesting. Because. Terry is good. The Jeff is good. Yeah, yeah. But also, this is something that, like. I'm totally psyched to see Jeff play Guy, though. I haven't yeah, seen yeah. him play in a really long time. It's not just that, but, like, we don't really see these two play each other, like. Ooh, that nice often at all. Terry, the biggest fan of like, the same pressure. Wow. Man, I thought they fixed that. That was ridiculous. Nice it might block. have to do with corner. <laughs> Terry's just in there. Oh, wow. Oh, what? Oh, he better lose. Yo. I really hope he loses right now. <laughs> oh, Terry. What? Yes. Chokers. Chokers. That was so he tried to super jump his spears. And it didn't work. You mean teleport? Yeah. 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 No, maybe, maybe he was going for some sick combo we've never seen before. Maybe he just screwed up. Wow. Did you see how that auto corrected? Yeah. That was crazy. You have the frame of mind to do that. Alright, we're in there. Oh, nice I don't like nuts. the boost flips yeah. as much, but... Uh, people don't know that's super unsafe. They are, depending on like what character... You have, there's like really specific answers to them that people need to know about. Yeah, like anything low. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it, it was so wow. bad back in a... Uh... You can obviously tell Terry has no idea what's going on. Ooh, so smart. I think that's just one of those situations of like, sometimes like the match is so obviously yours that when you don't win it, like the rest just kind of crumble. Yeah, like that first round. Yeah, exactly. Like it could have been a super good game. Like we, we'll never know how that round three would have went. Yeah. All right. So Terry's kind of figured out something right now. Low forward beats that uh, push and flip. Oh, he, Terry just starts pushing flipping too. Yeah. You know, I got that. I got that stuff too. Oh. It's a good catch. Focus attack does do actually a good job of blowing up that boot clip though, but you have to make sure that you're close enough that he can't grab you. Oh yeah, getting grabbed by that boot clip is like so much good. Yeah, it's like uh, 150 or something. It's really solid. Uh oh, gets the counter hit so that can uh, someone blocks up from grab. Oh, no, doesn't end the combo. It doesn't it might work. Get him. Oh, oh. Now the problem with uh, the problem with doing the flip when you come in and doing the elbow is that you don't have as much frame uh, advantage yes, you as actually, you do when you just normally jump in and then do the elbow. You're pretty much like slightly positive, but not yeah. enough to combo or anything. Yeah, not really. If you do a regular jump and then you do the elbow, you're really positive. On yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. But that's mostly used for like I've seen people mostly use that for like corner mix-ups or like faking you out if they're gonna hit in front or if they're gonna Man, that could have been Oh nice. I would have just settled for a uh, EX kick or something like that. There we go. Oh that's a bad bad position to be in. Oh Terry Demon? Oh my heart. Nice punish. You know, sometimes you're not far enough away to, or you're far enough to like not be able to do anything against that against yeah. sometimes. But you know, he picked the the right target combo. 
Oh, oh he's kind of just... Yeah, he's like... Yeah. Feeling himself a little too hard. That happens. Sometimes you're making so many good decisions that you're just like, I'll do this crazy thing because I'm on a roll. Nice. Terry mixed up his one mix-up that he had. <laughs> I mean... Well, that could be... That could be a whole game. I mean, you can just never get that mix-up and... It, I mean, you can't really do anything. The person just straight up beat you. But if you get that one mix-up and you don't take advantage of it, that could be like the loss of a round. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. Of like, you can't really do anything after that elbow. Yeah, there you go. Terry's kind of wise up on. Man, random ultra. That. I'll just random ultra. But against me, Terry probably wouldn't have hit the buttons because he knows I like to random ultra. But <laughs> against somebody who, you know, you never play that much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, people tend to press buttons. When you're when you're that low on life, like, you are going to have to make a gamble at some point. Yeah. Especially when you're up a game. That's, like, the time you got to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, oh, yeah, when, like, you could keep going. Like, you could yeah. live with that mistake, yeah. It's like, well, so what? I lost the game. It's just tied now. It's not a big deal. It's not like you were going to get that meter back next round, either. Yeah. Well, as far as I look goes, at it, when I do risks like that and I'm up a game, I look at it as um, pretty much if I would have guessed right, I'm going to win. And I'm going to go to the next and round. If and if I don't, I get a whole new chance. So might as well just do it. Wow, just like, he's kind of just, He's yeah. so aggressive right now. Like, Terry's just kind of like sitting back. Oh, wow. Great he's trying to, you know, go for counter hit setups. That was nice off to select. Oh, that could have been ultra. Oh, nice come back strong. Terry's kind of, or it seems like Jeff's kind of killing himself right now. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's just getting in there. He's trying to do the damage when he could just be waiting. Yeah. I mean, a guy can do so much damage to Akuma yeah, yeah. if he just gets that one combo. And not just that, but like his approach has been like pretty much strictly air based. Which is Oh, that was so sick. Yeah, but he didn't convert. Still pretty good though. Nice, you know, he's keep doing the, the flip, but he's spacing it differently, so he can't really get punished for yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But right there, those last that last series was really Ooh, solid. standing. Just because he was doing to take him out. Oh whoa. run, run. Oh, he's no. gonna run into it. He should just run slip. Wow, just walk right into that. It's all good. I mean, he had he had that much of a life lead with bar. This is the he, last round. You gotta watch out. Yeah. You just have to watch out for Terry's demons. People people don't know the capability of Terry's demons. He's gotta start ex kicking that when he comes down. And you see his oh, yeah, yeah. attack. He's just gotta let that rip because he's gonna get free damage. And Terry is not backdashing at all. Oh! Wow, Ren is built. See, the problem is he's been getting those big hits that like make us make sounds out yeah. of our faces, but he hasn't been capitalizing on it. Nice. Oh my god, please just chill Man. on this lead. Yeah. <laughs> please just chill on this lead. Man, he's missing those combos. Yeah, he's just in there. Ooh. Wow, just do it. It's like, it's sick that it worked, but if it didn't, I would feel so bad. I'm, he might have even been chipped if he didn't block oh yeah, yeah. no but i'm just saying like that that series of like i'm in your ass yeah like any any time he could have just been like dp time yeah right now terry's usually good about conserving his dps too oh yeah yeah and he'll do them like when it's safe for him to do them like in the beginning of a round yeah or two meters <laughs> those are the only time they already you know he just or he's ahead and you'll just do it, you know? Dude, DP at the beginning of a round is like such a... That... that Such a mindfuck. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, now... Oh, great. Now i got to worry for every round that we're playing. Yeah. He's going <laughs> to just random DP me. That, that really messes with, like, your entire game. Like, what do you do once you knock them down? What do you do once you get them in, like, a hard link situation with your combos? Like, you got... You got how many one That's when you that? like, can like really mess with people though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's just like, I'm gonna, like with Cody, because all of his normals are super slow. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I can just choose not to combo this if I don't want to. And that's, that's and then a good thing sometimes. Sometimes it's good to, you know, just not combo. Yeah. See what yeah. happens. Especially if it's like a low damage combo, that you're not gonna get much out of it anyway. As long as you like keep that positioning that yeah. you have.
All right. After I tweet this. Ooh, retweet you say. Well, Harrison, you're not the only one who has to retweet this. Everybody can retweet I, I this. I also all have to retweet this. And everyone else out there. Yeah. You should go to iPlayWinner.com and then just retweet the website like 400 times. Yeah. So that way... A good even number, right? So that way if the are. first people aren't checking that instance, they will get it. But anyways, alright, so Terry versus Lexi. I watched Lexi play at NCR, I actually got to commentate what she was playing, and she seemed to like to press buttons and backdash. So, I mean, we'll see if Terry realizes that. I mean, the thing is, is that when your character naturally excels at something, like is really good at one thing, yeah, you tend to like gravitate very But the thing is, if she won the match, it totally worked for her. I think that's a good use. That's one of the only ultras that I would use early. Because you, it doesn't do much damage regardless. Yeah. If you get it again, cool. Man, it's like another 200 damage. Wow, that hurt. All right, this is where Chung Lee gets blown up in the corner with nothing. How do you how do you think this matchup goes? I think it might be slight favor Akuma. I think so too, just because he has so many ways to pressure her. Yeah. yeah. Even when she has meter. Yeah, like some of the some of the dive kicks, she can't even do anything on, even if she's spinning bird. Yeah. I actually found a normal that beats the expanding bird case. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a, a. We'll see if I ever get to it, but I have a setup with a Yang that makes it oh, go man, through. Oh man, she doesn't me. go for the double fears. That's interesting. Terry not option selected. Yeah, after I know. The, uh, foot. Could just be tacking because, that. Yeah, foot, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see, oh, wow. she's mashing buttons. But I mean, he's definitely at a disadvantage. He is. Terry's got to work on those counter setups right now. Nice there option select. And, yeah, he you know, he reads the backdash for sure, but he doesn't quite get it. Oh, it doesn't finish with the Fierce in the combo. It's so tough, because, like, she has e that character easily has one of the best backdashes in the game, if not the best. Yeah. Like, really annoying. Like, a lot of characters, like, option selects can't even, like, catch it. Yeah. It's definitely, uh, you can definitely punish it. I'm trying to think of somebody else that has it. Oh, ooh, okay. Just like Makoto, maybe? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Makoto, uh, Rose. I would definitely no. say Rose, yeah. If you jump in correctly, there's really no super safe backdash in the game. Like, I mean, you can pretty much punish anything. Wow, grabs him out of it. Ooh, nice. good baited. It tarries? Really fighting to get out of that corner. Yeah, to, like to death. I think he's trying to play her game now, you know, because that's what people tend to do. If you see somebody press a lot of buttons, then you kind of want to press a lot of buttons for some reason. I think the issue is like the real issue right there with that exchange is that some people don't want to be in the corner so bad that they'll kill themselves. To yeah, not be to in get the out corner. of the corner. Like, cool, round two, you're out of the corner, but. Pretty sure if you just like down back there for a bit, waited yeah. for something. Like he might do it again right here. Ooh. Uh, the better, yeah. Man, dead. No, it's not dead. Way too much healing. Oh yeah. That's true. Yeah, but he's in the corner again. Ooh, this is bad. Ooh. Where's the backdash demon? This is really bad. Oh, man, the Guile theme song going to the background, and Terry just chokes it out. Oh, man. All right, so, uh, I, I think if she just gets him in the corner, he's going to... And, I mean, Terry gives up ground pretty easily. Like, as you see, he, like, put himself in the corner right at the start. Yeah, see, she just doesn't want to take hits. I don't think either of them want yeah, to take hits. <laughs> They just, they just don't want to block. They just want to get out of there. That was a nice block, though. That's a really tricky block. He kind of messed it up, though. Yeah, he did, but it's okay. Ooh, now he just, just feel himself. Yeah, I can't really... Bird that. You have to, like, you have to really realize, like, when, you're, when your best option is to block, you have to, yeah. like, take advantage of that. Like sure, sure she's like super down at that point and everything, but like 
potentially you could win. Like if you get lucky enough, or even not even not win, like something more realistic, you could build another one or two bars before you die. Yeah. So Lexi's kind of behind now. She seems like she was doing a lot better when she was in the lead. Yeah. yeah. So it seems like her problem is she oh, needs wow. to get in the lead right away. I think she's just running into Terry's like sweeps and like random normals, and Terry's getting the mix up off of them. Yeah. But Terry's in corner now, so anything could happen. Oh, and most likely that goes that. Yeah, this is where it gets really difficult. When you don't have the right ultra to go through fireballs. Yeah. Ooh. Kids get. Oh. Can't even talk. Really tense. Yep. Shut Ooh. Yo, I want to see this. SF Keith, hometown headphones hero versus <laughs> Hood Man. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you get those beats by Dre, you gotta show them off. Yeah. <laughs> you know those need a battery to work? What? Yeah. The little ear. No, not, not the earbuds, just the Beats by Dre headphone, like the over the ears, you need well, a battery. They're, well, they're like legit speakers, aren't they? They're basically like portable speakers. I can't think of like any other good headphone that like needs a battery. Like, in the headphone. What can be cool, guys? What makes us, you know, Do you know how everybody else? stupid I feel with batteries buying in batteries? It. Nobody buys batteries anymore. Exactly. Everybody's like, oh man, I just bought this new thing. And, and then like three months later, oh man, the batteries ran out. I guess I'm just not going to use it anymore. <laughs> and then they'll just go, well, because... Stuff what? comes out so quickly that by the time the batteries run out on anything, something new has come out, and you might as well just buy that. Not just that, everything because of rechargeable batteries now. Even even the Game Boy Advance started coming out with a rechargeable battery. Yeah. And everyone was like, "Wow, oh my god, I can't believe that." And the DS was like, "Yeah, we're just gonna have rechargeable." So. Yeah. People outside, I don't know. It looks like they're about to fix something. They got like a. Oh, never mind. It's gone. <laughs> I really love that, uh, what, what do we call that? Passerby cam? I have no idea. I don't know. Beat on the street cam? But look it in, like... <laughs> Bump <laughs> cam? Yeah. Alright, so we got Hoodman versus, uh, Dr. Dre's Beats. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, how does this go? Most important black people in one way or another. What do, what do you think about this match? Uh, this is, I mean, Hudeman should definitely win this match. Ooh. I'm just gonna say that right now. Both, both same when you lose to Vance and then you like come back after in grand finals and then beat him two sets, Ooh. you probably should not lose to any other Stanky <laughs> ever. But 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 that is the foul people make because sometimes you could give another player too much credit. Which could be to your disadvantage. Who the man doesn't give anybody credit? Well, this is uh, also I true. mean, this is also true. Uh, the, uh, I mean the exact opposite the way I meant it. Like he gives everybody like the utmost respect when he plays them, <laughs> unless he's feeling himself. Then he just gives absolutely nobody respect and just goes in. Well, it's nice when you have ex headbutt, so you could just like do that. Ooh. And jab headbutt. And jab headbutt. God, they had to give him back jab headbutt. <laughs> Hate it's that. it's just kind of there now. It, yeah, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I think people got so used to playing without it. People just make him a character. It just makes him a character. <laughs> like before, you can just jump in on him for free. Oh my like, god, that's so much fun. Like you couldn't jump in on you can't jump in on anybody for free in this game. Like as much as you could against Honda with no headbutt. Mm. He's making like really good use of all his normals, like jab, stand fierce. Uh, jumping fierce, whatever. So he's got. Yeah, okay. That. This could be. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, never mind. You didn't go for the sweep. Man. That could have been. Where's Guile? Guile could have been floating, uh, like, on a, <laughs> floating in on a boat in the background. Yo, let's go. It's really tough because he has With to take. With his headphones. He has to take Butt Slam into uh, consideration. Yeah, because he can, you know, yeah, get SPD. do that. He's, he's getting so much mileage out of that Stan Fears, which is like crazy to me. Okay, a little bit of damage. Wow, that was really smart too. 
And SSG is just like, it seems like he just. The problem is the footsie game. Like he's not. He's kind of really at not. On the he's not game. doing anything that he should be doing. I think he's trying to do stuff, but it's just losing is the real issue. Yeah. Because like this footsie game has been entirely hit him man. Because what he's doing is hit him in standing outside that range where the fierce isn't gonna hit him if he does nothing. But if he hits a button like jab or short or something, then it is gonna hit him. It's yeah. worked like so many times in a row to the point where now he's unsure of like. Everything. Is this real life? What's going on right now? Is this real life? Yeah. Ooh, that's so dirty. You shouldn't be able to do that. Oh my so god. So this is pretty much over. Yeah, this is, this is a bad look. Of course, you Jump know. Jump in three. Oh. Okay. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude. Welcome to Super. Jesus Christ, dude. I've never seen that. Really? I've never you, seen you must that. have never played Huda Man in, in Super. Okay. All right, me and uh, Willpower, I think. Hey, white people playing each other. Gonna have to go and kill your skin, brother. <laughs> oh, man. What's the... Oh, no, no, I'm watching. Woo man. Woo man. Alright, uh, so next up, yeah, Harrison Willpower. Should be a, should be a good one. Should be solid. Yeah. The, the three white gods of Southtown. <laughs> that's, that's what it is, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, all of us? No, no. Me too. Oh yeah, we're the we're the ones who placed in this game somehow. Oh, okay, yeah, I yeah. don't know how. Go to if you're white and you're afraid to play Street Fighter, come to San Francisco. That's, that's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. you know how to work it, right? You just plug it in and then you hit home when it starts blinking. Yeah, yeah. When it starts blinking, you just hit home and uh, the cord's in here. No problem. Now, historically, this has gone in Harrison's favor. Uh, but today is a okay. new day. It is, okay, yeah, it is a new day. Uh, I know they played each other uh, countless times here. And, uh, yeah, Harrison usually always pulls out a nice, uh, friendly, hearty handshake. That's all I like to see, good sportsmanship. Mm -hmm. it's, we're getting a little closer to sponsorships and esports for that kind of stuff. So, uh, But for now, a slobber knocker. And uh, after this match, we're actually going to swing back to uh, the winner's bracket. It looks like uh, Literate has some things to take care of. But, uh, yeah, we'll swing back to uh, winner's semis, uh, get, some, get some matches going there. And uh, after the Street Fighter 4 tournament is wrapped up, we're going to switch over to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And I, it's the uh, 2v2, and I think they're about to get underway uh, on another station right now. Uh, this match, uh, fairly even uh, in, all, in all respects. Oh, well. Until now, Harrison burning some meter, keep things safe, but uh, as far as position goes, he's uh, doing all right, keeping willpower in the corner. Pretty good job keeping him in the corner. Looks like knocked him out of an EX attack there, not sure what it was. Nice throw. go for a cross up. I guess he was uh, afraid of the EX up kicks. EX jackknife kick? Not sure what it's called. Uh, yeah, Mar Marvel is later for those of you asking in the chat. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is going to be the last game that we stream, so it's probably gonna, we're probably going to put that on around uh, 9 p.m., 9.30 Pacific. That's when we get started with some Marvel 3. That will be the last game tonight. Tomorrow we have CBS 2 and King of Fighters 13 all day. Join us at 1 p.m. for uh, Real Honest Sundays. Pretty solid damage there from uh, Willpower. He's in a good position. Nice throw from Harrison. Gets himself out of the corner. Good tech there. Throw, 
Both players playing very honest. Good jump in there. A, uh, willpower, CB hits it. Yeah, he goes low. Nice camera roll trip from Harrison. Uh, I don't know if that's going to do it, but uh, certainly going to help. Bop. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, so, man. Uh, okay, I'm back. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what to do for uh, Street Fighter Cross second team. Why? What's, uh, what's going on? It seems that we have, like, currently four teams signed up. Four teams? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, wasn't that the case in some other tournament recently, too? Like, yeah, they, it wasn't TNT. It was just an MOG tournament. Yeah. And uh, there weren't enough players, so they just didn't run it. Man, that's a shame. You know, my, my thoughts were like, okay, we'll run Street Fighter first, right? And yeah. then, like... Street Fighter will end, and everybody will like, okay, well, now I have it in my team, because, you know, you know, player X showed up, and I was teaming with him. But my plan didn't work out at all. Now, so we still don't, like, have anybody to play. The thing is, is that there's more people here that play it, but they don't want to play too. They're not entering, it seems like. So I don't know what's up. With, I don't know if, like, they just, like, aren't down with the game right now or what it is, but... Well, I think, I mean, the, I think the situation we're in is that... Uh, you know, for Evo, it's it's two v two, too, but I think a lot of people at the end of the day they just want to they just want to play singles because that's how they practice. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, if you're playing online and stuff, I mean, especially on obviously on Xbox, you're gonna be playing. Uh, you know, you're just gonna be playing. Uh, you know, just one v one, one v one. But uh, oh, he's gonna hit. Oh man, he is. I don't know. He's hit that like once. Online, it's really yeah. hard though. Is it? I thought they made it like way easier. They made it. <laughs> They made it easier in the way that the motion is, um, you could charge down back and yeah. then you tap forward twice and okay. go down back up forward. That's all you need to do to do it. But the timing for like how fast you input it okay. and right. the really weirdness of DJ's dash also plays into it. I gotcha, okay. It's definitely very tough. It's not like arbitrary tough where like you don't know if you're doing it right or wrong yeah. until you're like there. Yeah, use the crutching short to punish that. Uh, some great pressure from Harrison, man. This is, uh, as you guys see, a loser's, ma loser's round match, too, so. Oh, man. Well. Yeah, he was, he was reading them. All right. Okay, so, uh, I think, yeah, so we're going to swing back to winner's bracket now. Um, let's see. Let's switch things up. Uh, no bums out there right now. It's all right. <laughs> we'll get somebody. Uh, hey, Harrison, play Kaneda next on that middle station. The middle one, yeah. Whoa. All right, just updating the bracket here. Sorry, guys. Bear, bear with me. Uh, we have a man of hard playing off stream. Uh, okay, LPN and Nothing Man. This should be really goofy. Uh, <laughs> LPN and Nothing Man. LPN, Nothing Man. Yeah, can you grab? Thanks, man. So, uh. Should be interesting. Forte versus either Cami or Adon, I guess. Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, if you can wait. After this one. Well. I mean, I'm just trying to get through. I'm just trying to get through matches, yeah. Uh, do I have it? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I thought I saw it around here somewhere. I thought. Uh, I don't know if I have it. Yeah. I thought. I thought I left it here. They're looking for a USB uh, port yeah. or the USB hub. Excuse me for. Uh, <laughs> Street Fighter Cross not gonna play TV. I wish they had those like those old like boomerang like looking things. Like put oh, all your yeah. controllers. Yeah, like the PS1. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a boomerang, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, it came off those things. Yeah. What what game would you even play on that? I don't remember. I don't know. There weren't that many four player games on PlayStation. I always like whenever someone says four player game, I just think Bomberman. Oh yeah. Crash Team Racing. See you in Crash Team Racing any day. Oh gosh, yeah. Jet Moto. Oh my god, dude, Jet Moto was so sick with the grappling hooks and everything. Okay, I'm quitting Street Fighter 4. <laughs> Jet Moto was like a lot of fun, Moto. man. Dude, that game was crazy. And then eventually 989 took over like every game for PlayStation and yeah. made it shitty. Like Siphon Filter like, sucked after a while. <laughs> yeah, that, whatever happened to that, that oh studio, my god. man. Anyway, anyway. So, okay, so you, so you ended up going with. Uh, 
Cammy. With, with Cammy. I like and, that. Uh, yeah, he'll probably, probably be okay. Ooh, nothing man is... Seems to be guessing right early. Oh, no. What? Oh, oh, that's never good. He was definitely trying to punish him. Like it, it looked like he knew what was going on, but he just got hit for some reason. Oh, wow. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what happened in that match. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm just, I, I, I watched the entire thing and I have nothing to <laughs> <Yeah>. say. <laughs> that happens sometimes? <laughs> yeah. Solid combo. Ooh, all right. Wow, oh man, that could have been funny. Yeah, yeah, or just like the sweep or something, right? Yeah. Then he's going to get knocked down. Oh, there yeah, that's go. true, yeah. I guess with Verte, 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 you're right. It's like, uh, if you get a knockdown, sometimes that's better than, like, even getting a combo, you know? Yeah, just just stopping Fuerte from running around is yeah. great. Like, if I can, just, like, mashing jabs, just to keep him stuck in that box string. Yeah. Or, like, just anything. Anything to stop him from hopping off the wall. Wow, that had a really huge hitbox. Catch the back dash. Whoa. Okay. Oh man, play oh wow, <laughs> playing chicken, I love it. <laughs> I, I respect for a man who would just hold that focus. <laughs> yeah, oh me too, man. Let it rip. That's the classic I, I get, NorCal. Man. No, no. Oh my god, I get so angry at someone when when you're both focusing oh. at the same time and someone like backdashes and I let my focus rip. <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm like, you you have no honor. Wow, nothing, man, is uh, going to work. Train. Ooh, no, he can't get the two hit. Ay, 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 wow. wow. Okay, that good presence of mind there to, uh, or just, just that's hitting buttons. Yeah, yeah. That's Either a or. super crazy punish. <laughs> yeah. For like a move that never gets punished. That was like nuts. <laughs> yeah. like it's over? Oh, okay. <laughs> good match so far. Oh, wow. Oh, catches him back that time, guys. Lots of focuses in this match so what far. Uh, huh? Yo. Hoopla? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Great Sam Fury. It's like, it's an odd mix of like really smart decisions and just madness. Yeah. Like, <laughs> is this real life? Oh, caught him. Perfect. Whoa, get out of there. Wow, he oh, almost caught him too. That cami uppercut is like the dumbest thing as far as like, it, it hits all the way to the top, and it goes oh, really far. Right. It's always the most, the most annoying when you're jumping back, like, trying to bait it. Yeah, and, and it's it still active. Yeah, and I'm like, come on, are you serious? Like, I knew you were going to do it, too. Keep it up. Oh, great read. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, great presence of mind to just like backdash out of. Ooh, wow. <laughs> My God, this is just mean right now. Yeah, man, just he's just wow. LP in has that fios, man. It's like you play one round or a match. And oh yeah, yeah, nice. he picks up quickly. Super quick. It's actually you and uh, you oh, yeah. pop. All right, so we have Jeff versus. Yes, Terio good to see pop. more Jeff. Ariel pop. Oh yeah, that's right. Jeff put Terry in losers, right? Uh, he put a lot of people in losers. Did he? Um, well, he's wearing winners. Oh, yeah, that's right. My handy dandy bracket. He, uh, he sent Harji to losers. I know that much. Okay, here we go. He sent, sent Terry to losers. He sent Harji losers. Oh, he got seated, so this is only his third match, actually. So, yeah, he sent both of those guys to losers. Um, Ooh, I gotta play Nothing Man next. They should put that on stream. Yeah, that, that'll be, that should be fun. We'll hype it up. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, Jimmy was in winners all that far? That's amazing. He's godlike, dude. I know, right? He's making everybody look like nothing, man. I know. You, you <laughs> man, <laughs> nothing comma, man. People are getting hella mad because we are hyping it up. And uh, Lexi's boyfriend's all like, hey, she doesn't like when people are yelling. I'm more like, Wait, sorry. Who? Uh, when Lexi was up there, uh, Jesse Uppercat came up to us and was like, hey, she doesn't like it if... Uh, People are talking. I told you about the, and the like, pools in Evo last year, right? No, what happened? Where the Blanca player, and he was getting mad that, like, Jose was talking hella shit. <laughs> and, like, he was looking back during the match, like, wow, these guys really, like, doing this? And, like, he wasn't concentrating on the match at all. Wow. Put yeah. your headphones on. That's yeah, what I learned I, what yeah. to do. No, that's what I did, because I hear, you know, I hear people talking about how I play, and I'm disagreeing with them in my head. And I'm just like, no, I'm listening to trance right now. Sorry. Yeah. 
Can't hear you. If you can't take the heat, get out of the street, dude. If you can't take the heat, play StarCraft. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jesus. Play LOL. <laughs> play LOL, play StarCraft, play Dota. What's up? Oh, I got you. All right, hopefully you can hear me better. Apparently I was a little too quiet. All right. Let's go. We're into this. That's starting. This, Yun and Yang give guys, give guy a problem. I'm going to say that right now. So, I would imagine. I mean, Yun versus Guy is really bad. I can't imagine Yang being that much better for Guy. Because they, they wouldn't play very differently. Well, the problem with Yun, wow, just match. Uh, oh, that was trademark. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work against uh, Pablo. Wow, that was so sick. He went for the counter hit setup, got that spacing correctly on the jump. Got that immediate cross up. Out of the corner. This is looking, wow. This is looking really good for Jeff right now. I think uh, I think Pablo might be sweating a little bit. Yeah. I think he, uh, I think he underestimated that first round right there. He needs to just he needs to uh, turn the autopilot there. off. Turn the autopilot off. Take control of the wheel. No, turn the autopilot on. That's what you need to <laughs> do against Guy. Just autopilot, and then just bait that one uh, bait the kick, beat, and then beat the tatsu, yeah. And then Guy, it's over. But until then, Guy but just until trains the, yeah. on people. He got, he's got the pokes. He's got the target combo. So it's like, oh, he's like playing cross Tekken right now. Oh my God! And there's the Gives super. Gives him the hammer. And overhead. <laughs> Yo, wow. overhead. Oh, he went for the it. pressure. Wow. Man, okay. Pablo hey. looking mad free. You know what's funny is that this dude never beats me in casuals, but he is dominating everybody in the bracket right now. He, Yo, he we does should not like, have an easy bracket. Yeah. This guy has not had an easy bracket, and he is doing great. No slouch. Yo, we should like change this picture up here with like Cody plus guy just beating the crap out of Yang. <laughs> oh, God. I wish we could like somehow like oh I'll take a picture of it and I'll tweet it. <laughs> we got artwork on the wall of Cody beating up Yang. Well, it looks like Pablo's trying to push back a little bit. He's not looking so free right now. Man, I need to start using the overhead more. It's, uh, working out really good for him. He needs to get out of the corner. All right, Pablo's out of the corner, but oh, and he's back in there. Wow! Oh! Wake up, Ultra! Just do it. Well, I think that was a reaction to the over. I would give Pablo Whoa, credit it's not for over that. yet. It's done. Here. Oh, and there's Yo, the too. that doesn't work against anybody that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I think Pablo might be a little scared right now. I think he's got it. He, you know, he kinda... I think I think he's taking in a lot of data. I think it's going to be a little hard to adjust that because you know he he. It looked like he was starting to make his comeback, and Yuri was just like, no. So, you know, stop Pablo's momentum. Hopefully he can get it back. I don't know how he just landed a jump in right now, but now here comes the, the Dude, high low. that's what you do a guy, man. You just land jump in. High low or throw, you don't know. Uh, okay. Trying to punish. Here's the momentum back. There you go. Great bait right there. Unbelievable. There's the super. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, done. And Pavo is an amazing. Oh, no, Pavo was like the saltiest guy ever. Why his face. The, he's like, uh, why am I here? He's like, why did the uppercut come out? Which is usually what he says whenever he loses. But all right, so wow, that was a uh, that was pretty uh pretty stellar right there. That taking a picture of this artwork on the wall. All right, so Pavo's and losers. Yurio, that that means uh, Yurio Pop gets to winners finals, I believe. Oh my god, I'm too far away. I believe that makes him in winners finals. Let me look at my bracket. Yeah, Yurio Pop's gonna be in winners finals with LPN. I believe I believe we're running that next. Yeah. LPN just another person tearing up the bracket. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Terry has <laughs> Terry left just the said thanks for bodying me. And he swiftly hands over the evil point. That's front page news on SRK. They should put that on front page. <laughs> Harrison destroys Terry Canada at oh, South Pound Arcade. Destroyed. Oh my god. What was it? 1-1 <laughs> one, one last round? Yeah, but I stunned him last round. Oh, that means nothing. Yeah, it does. It means Shut nothing. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on Event Hub. Oh, we got an outside cam. Oh, we get to see the homeless troll. We have by. shopping cart lady. Shopping cart lady, one of the 
actually one of the better players around here. <laughs> Yo, I heard she made Frank less. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, and we got little girl who wants to play video games. Oh, she's hype. The tie dye girl's hype. She's Frank West's mom. Uh oh, we got the Wrangler. Oh. Are you ready? They're, they look so long. This is like the creeper cam, like onto like the next level. That's true, huh? Because <laughs> cause this is being restreamed all over the world right now. <laughs> they don't even know that they're celebrities, dude. That's a wicked stash. Dude, that's a great mustache right there. All right, we got Long versus Yuria Pop. Okay, prediction right now. Yuria Pop doesn't get a single round. You know why? Why? Because Long also plays Guy. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay, name a character and tell guy me Long is bad, doesn't play so it. Well, doesn't play you might think he doesn't main Guy. He doesn't use him in he tournaments. Doesn't. He uses him. I I've seen him do. I some main Tay Hawk, but I don't go around. Shut I don't go around, you know, say, oh, yeah. LPN like, can blow people up in casuals with Guy. I've seen it. I can blow people up in casuals with T-Hawk. You want to see that? That's Xbox Live. Want, no, it's that not. Was, I no. was there for that, dude. You can't lie to Oh, me. my God. Look at that. This is going to look free. No. It's like, now it's going to look free. Data's being... There we go. No, he knows. I need to start using focus attack. But I hate it because, Blue like, that couch tech right her there. low forward into spiral is, like, way too good. You can't focus it's attack incredible. it. It's incredible. Yeah. It's like Yang's, you know, where you can't focus attack the low forward and hit her with the focus before uh, the special move comes out. This dude's pressure right now is insane. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. See that? Yo, the, hella cheap. That's serious business right there because Long has to know that's gonna work. Oh my God, we got. Boom. Okay, that's wow. Safe. Great momentum from Yurio, but LPN just found it back. You know, he had that good read. And he's just like, I'm just gonna SF4 on you. That was a wonky cross up from Long. I didn't think that uh, that's how he wanted to set it up. Put himself in the corner. Yeah, it's not gonna really work against Kami. Wow, is that a trade? Anti cross up Tatsu. Wow, he knew it was gonna work again. Oh, he doesn't. He didn't know. It's he just the did know. Is so he good. knows. You think you could react to the hit? That seems yeah, you can. Really? Yeah. It seems too quick. To I play Cammy. I know. Dude. <laughs> wow, that was serious business right there. LPN's like, I got a dentist appointment. Did I leave the oven on? Damn. All right, so Jeff has to do something. LPN's defense is pretty good. I mean, Jeff's been playing really great, but LPN has these single great reads that just reverse the momentum so hardcore. Yep. See, look, Jeff's got momentum. Boom. Yeah, so you can't really do that with Guy against Cammy. I mean, Cam Cammy's anti cross up uppercut is so good. If you want to safe jump that, you got to do it precisely. Wow, great. There we go. Now in the corner, leave him in the corner. Yeah. Wow. No respect. No respect. See, I think I think right now LPN's just reading. What? It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Oh! oh. oh. Wow. Yo. Random ultra, not so random when you don't hit it. That's a scrub ultra. How do ultras trade? I don't get that. What? I mean, that looked that traded, didn't it? No, it got beat by the overhead. All right, both of them a little timid right now. Wow. Oh, okay. oh he baited out the Tatsu. All right. Wow, nice block. That was an amazing block. Back in the corner. Back in the corner with a little jab there for good measure. Wow, I think he walked out of top yeah. of range. Oh, that! He was in his head right there. Yeah. He was in his head. Yo! All right, final round. It's uh, yeah, yeah. This is match point, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Wow, with the focus. You don't see a lot of people do that. Yeah, I mean, Cammy's... It's, everybody Cammy's, can do it, too. Everybody can really? do it. Really? Yeah, everybody can do it. I've if never seen see that somebody, before. you see somebody, you know, focusing, just mash back that, or uh, mash back that. Wow. It. I'm going to try that. Yeah. It works with everybody. I mean, it's like, most people try to jump away, but Cammy's range on that is so nice good. Good thing you didn't use the super. No? No? Yeah, okay, good. That was a good choice for super. Now, now one mix-up is and it's done. It's one done. more mix-up and it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, wow. Try to oh block low God. next time. Oh, corner pressure. 
Is it a cross up? Will it blend? Be a oh my god. Whoa, that was long. He tried to do uh medium punch. Oh my god, finish the round! Oh, oh! What's gonna happen? Wow. Unbelievable. Ooh. Such a wonky ending to that round. Hoodman in the background. Hoodman. We need the Hoodman camera. <laughs> yeah, we need Hoodman camera. <laughs> Yo, just his reactions are priceless. Exactly. Wow, it doesn't let that focus rip. He likes those stand jabs to try to blow up the uh, guy flip. Oh, the hooligan. The hooligan gimmick. Oh, it's 1 1 right now. All right. Although, when LTS kind of going in with. Yeah. Wow, in Ew. his head right there. And boom. Oh, that's that's going to work. No, what? way too much startup on that. Hella cheap. That's what makes Kami so good. I thought that was going to work. Nah, but it's what too slow. All right, match point LPN. Real Pop needs to get his amazing momentum back that he had earlier in the match. All right, working him to the corner. In the corner, here comes the pressure. Ah, but you, you had pressure. to have known that that DP was coming. I mean, because like LPN right now, nice. he's just reading aggression, aggression. Watch out for uh, that meter when LPN gets it. Yeah. Oh wow, he wanted that. Amazing blocks from this guy. Oh, don't ultra! No! I would have ultraed. If he raw ultraed, it would have killed her. Now it's not going to kill her. Oh! <laughs> it back! Yo! Where's Terry with the microphone? That's the guy Yo, factor. learn the tech! Guy factor! Yeah, we need that ambulance noise yeah. in the background. <laughs> learn the tech! Where's that lady with the shopping cart, baby Shazwa? What was that? Mike Chow versus Rom? Yeah. Tech it! <laughs> Oh no, okay. Okay, LPN. Jeff has to settle Not down now. LPN might be a little mad right now. And oh, there you go. Boom, fierce. Wow. Tries to bait it out. That was a great reaction right there. Yeah, it's not going to really work. You know, it looks like LPN. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. LPN trying to get out of there. Wow. He's got to use a. Uh, Oh, there's the Tatsu, and not a good punish. You could have straight up ultra right there. There it is. Wow. Yo, good. if you would have blocked that, it would have been over. But he didn't, so he lost. What move is that? Is that a low roundhouse? It's, uh, no, no, low... It's uh, close standing roundhouse. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, wow, that was... There was blood on the walls on that match. I don't see most guys being that aggressive. Alright, thank you. Uh, shout outs to One Time Hero. <laughs> Dude, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that picture and I'm just gonna make it a meme about Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Blow it up on Twitter. All right. Everybody on Twitter, go to Harrison SBA. Yes. I have a picture on there. Basically, I just want people to just make memes about Pavo. Post it everywhere. Just post it everywhere. <laughs> We're going to make him a star. All right. So um, my prediction uh, is that Who Man, I think Who Man's going to destroy this. Yep. I would say so because he's finally figured out the matchup. Because you know what? He beat Rom in a uh, he beat Rom in grand finals. Was that a few weeks ago? And I believe oh no, Human was in winners. I don't know if Rom ever reset the bracket on him. Yeah. But before that, Rom used to body Human 2-0 all day. Sometimes you know double perfects were not a surprise. Oh, what he's going to Rufus? Okay. Okay. For the and people he, who Paolo knows that for the for the people who watched final bout. Uh, for the, um, I can't remember, the Fuddruckers, not too long ago. It was Pavo and Hudeman in Grand Finals. And basically Hudeman blew up Pavo's Yang. So he went to Rufus. Which is what I would think so right now. And he almost reset the bracket with Rufus. Wow. So he was blowing him up. But there are, there are a few things that Hudeman wasn't doing that he's probably going to be doing now. 
I think this is one of the least fraudulent counter picks Pablo's ever done, though. Because Rufus is not exactly a day two character that you can bring yeah. to a tournament. Well, well. I mean, what? Compared you to just that? need to watch people. That's the thing. Like, if you have good people to watch. Right. When you uh, that play Rufus. That was a really good block. Yeah, that was. Now it just. There's the Messiah. Might as well take it. Take away who man's. Uh, Take away his charge. Situation's just set right now. Who man's out of the corner? Who man just nice trying to get house. away whenever Rufus is close? That's what he has to do, though. I know, right? That dive kick pressure is so good. All right, Who man's got the lead. He wants to sit down all day. He He's will kind of respecting Pavo also. Well, I think in this sort of matchup, that's what you need to do. Nice. I mean, I don't think Fu Man's going to want to go in on anybody. Using that jump back roundhouse is yeah, such a Yeah, it's really good in right this matchup. Now. Yeah, he was using it just, oh, I'm under pressure. That's my that's my getaway. Yep. All right, so that was first round. Seemed, it seemed like Fu Man felt very comfortable. Like, there was a few parts where, you know, Pavel was like, oh, I got you in the corner. I got Yeah, this, when Fu Man feels like, oh, I can win this, then it's, you're, he's probably going to win it. Usually, because usually he's like so humble about it, where I'm like, dude, who man, you got these? You go, don't tell me that. Yeah. Don't tell me that. I'll you get say, comfortable. You say, who man, you suck. You're and the worst Honda ever. And then everybody. All right. We got people leaving the building. Once he believes in himself. The salt, <laughs> <laughs> the salt factory shift is over. Exactly. Everybody's leaving. He puts his helmet on the wall. He's like, it's the weekend. The salt line's done. <laughs> I've got my quota in there. Oh, I don't agree with that. See, now he's just wasting meter. I think he's too comfortable right now. Because he could have supered right there and killed him. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, that wow, was extremely that was really early. Ultra yeah. 1, let me see it. Thank you. Flat. Hey, 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 hey. That was really double combo. Oh, that was like that was, I mean, like, that's like that desperation ultra where you are so out of it where you're like, you know, I just need there to be an ultra flash. I don't, like, I don't need thought behind it. I don't need a setup. I just ultra on the screen. It might work. It gets it bad might. when you, like, you can't even random ultra correctly. I mean, random ultra on someone's wake up before they've even teched the yeah, landing? Yeah. Like, ugh. That, I mean, and I'm very surprised that he stayed with Rufus after something like that. Because when you stay with your counterpick character after getting bodies, it's like you've got to have some idea wow, of what you're going to change. Kick. What are you going to change? Wow, this okay. This is a jab-jab combo. Yeah. Face for it. Starbase special. Uh. What? What did I just hear? Wow, blew up the uh, EX headbutt right there. I, now, Who Man has no meter now. What? He said Starbase Special. I want to know what it was. Jab, jab combo. Oh. Jab, jab into throw. Whether, oh. <laughs> whether or not you get it. Hand pressure. Sit down. Boom. Ooh, wow. He'll take that trade. Tra traded with the stand fierce right there from really far away. I mean, he tried to do jump, in, uh, jump roundhouse, but he was kind of too far away at that point. All right. Seems like Who Man's sensing a little too much aggression from Pavo. Just wants to sit down right now. Wow. Yeah. That's actually has a pretty a meter, good. Yeah, has a meter burn it. Yeah. And you know, after hands, if you think that that's a Honda that'll just go for another hands, why not? All right. So that's the first throw that he's got. Hey, hey, hey. Pavo definitely hey. has his links down. Except for he didn't. Oh wow, Compensator's Jinx. Great blocks from him though. Always blocking the sumo slams. Wow. Okay, very convincing round. Yep. Turn off the autopilot. Get in your own co-pilot seat. This is the last round. Fight. You know, Who Man's sitting down a little more now, right? Is he? Oh well, yeah. I mean, like he was like. Oh, he's settling down. He was waiting. He was waiting for Pavo to come because last round he, he was like waiting, but then Pavo like started something, and then Who Man was just kind of walking forward a little bit. So it seems like right now, Who Man's trying to get on lockdown. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I think he just stopped locking. Right there. Yeah, because I didn't think that that was actually going to punish it right there. Wow. Okay. Momentum. I kind of actually agree with that, because now Who Man has no meter. He started with a ton, too. And you know what? Yeah. The statistic is, whenever Who Man's using too much meter, it's because he's in trouble. Yeah. Shout out to get your tournament. Boom. All right, momentum has shifted. Got some meter though. Oh, no more. Wow. No. And that link, the double roundhouse. 
right when Hu Man lost his meter, he just kind of cracked right there. Yep. So I think he's just got to he's got to be a little more careful of when he ex headbutts because you know, he wasn't really picking his battles very well right there. Let's get started. Fight. Needs to get that meter conservation. Whiffing the throw. Almost kind of just like, I don't know what he's doing now. Like, that was kind of a weird combo. Like, I don't understand why you would go into that. I think that's just uncomfortability, uncomfortability with the character. Yeah. Like, obviously someone who plays Rufus mainly would know the throw range better. Uh, I think he's a little excited that he actually got a match off Fu Man right now. But maybe we could be wrong. Maybe he's been putting, you know, hella time into Rufus while we uh, haven't been watching. I like that right there. He puts time into random people. I like that stand roundhouse instead of another hand, even though it didn't combo. Yeah, I think it would have... DX would have whiffed, right? If it hit him. The first hit of, what? of the Messiah Kick hit him. At that range, so far away. Yeah, at that range, yeah. Nice wow, shot great. Roundhouse. That was such a great choice rather than using another EX headbutt. And Rufus is going to have a hard time uh, anti-airing that jumping jab, so... Definitely. Yeah, it comes out so quick. And you know who man loves to do that. Oh, mistimed the stand fierce right there. That's such a hard thing to time, especially against Rufus, who can alter his jump arc yeah. so dramatically and come down on you so fast. But man, just when he thought he was getting headbutt half for you, he kind of stopped. So. Well, I think he stopped because he realized that he had no meter, and that's the only reason Pablo ever brought it back. You know, right now he's like, okay, I'm going to zone you, I'm going to keep my meter, and then if you start making a comeback, I've got my buffer. I've got my shield on me. Yeah. Wow. Oh, see, I don't that, know, understand why he did that. There was really... At, at that range, you lose all your invincibility, and the only really way that that would work is if it was like lined up perfectly, or if Pavo empty jumped. Oh wow, jumping back to the corner, such an interesting choice. But here we go, down to the wire. This is oh, all right, and that's that. Seems like the data was collected. Is that two out of three, or yeah, yeah, yeah? Because we're still in losers bracket, right? Oh, oh, Harrison and Nothing Man, all right. So this is a match we're going to hype up. Well, actually... Oh, is he in a real match? Yes. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Well, yeah, we want... Yeah, you're up. All right. All right. Good luck and prosper. We got Harrison and Nothing Man. They fight every now and then, mostly in casuals. I don't think, I don't think I've seen them fight in tournament very often, at all. So this will be interesting to see. Right now we've got Illiterate back on the mic. So uh, how about you? You tell us about why why Rufus? Because he's beaten me really bad with every character, but for some reason my Rufus can beat him, even though I don't play Rufus. Right. So like, so uh, when you're not fighting Who Man, are you like putting work into your Rufus? Like, is no. that is that like your dedicated counterpick now no. to to Who Man? Oh, to to Who Man? To Who Man? To, yeah. To Honda in general, yes, because I've always been terrible against Honda in general. I gotcha. But somehow Rufus like compensates for that. I'm not sure how. Uh huh. I'm curious if uh if earlier in AE, if you were doing, uh, did you fight Who Man a lot? Like in never. AE, were you doing? Oh, really? So you had never fought him very much? Oh, actually, I need to play Cross Tekken right now. Oh, but yeah, like I, I didn't really get to play Huda Man until like I played him like once in Super and like oh, okay. once in AE. Well, I just think it's interesting because Rom used to body him because Huda Man like he didn't he didn't have the right mindset for oh, the matchup or something, yeah. and then then he starts blowing under, Rom up. I, I watched the matches that Rom was winning uh -huh. against Huda Man yeah. with Yang, and I didn't understand what was making it. Yeah, I mean, it looked like Rom was a little bit on autopilot. It seemed so easy for yeah. him because it's like double perfect. But, but now it was like, yeah, now uh -huh. it doesn't happen. All right, you well, go into your later, match yeah, now? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so Illiterate's got to go play his cross second match because that's a game that people play. All right. So we got Jimmy and Harrison. 
Nothing, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if these guys have uh, met up in tournament yet. I, they, think that's, I think that's what you were saying on the mic. I yeah, I mean, some bracket work, but. maybe off stream. Certainly yeah. nothing I've seen, but they, uh, I've definitely seen them playing casuals. Um, oh, what happened? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wrong ultra or something? Maybe know. something like that. Harrison has a lot of experience in this matchup, though. Um, mainly from uh, players like El Ben, and also the fact oh, that... Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah the El Ben, who he plays a lot at Starbase. That's right, yeah. And uh, Harrison also plays Fuerte on the side just for fun, but you see that and you can tell he's put a you know put a decent amount of time yeah, into just yeah, a yeah, casual not, Fuerte. Not right now. In a second, yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. He, uh, El Ben, um, who uh, had some good matches at NCR, actually, if you guys watched oh, the yeah. stream. Oh, yeah. I, uh, me, uh, me and One Time Hero, we had all this influence over the bracket on who got on stream. <laughs> oh, get him up. Who man's been up three times? Get him up there again. Yeah. Like, uh, and, uh, you know, the, uh, El Forte, always uh, a, a crowd uh, favorite. Great crowd pleaser, yeah. yeah. Right now has a good lead on Harrison right now. Yeah, boom. Um, yeah, this is a matchup I just don't know anything about, man. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people don't. Even if, uh, you know, you don't really need to know the matchup if you have a character that just kind of beats Fuerte. <laughs> because yeah. you only need to put in the work if you've got that character that Fuerte can really have control over. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Whoa, very wow. nice. Wow, Harrison brought it back, man. That All was, the way uh, back. Super clutch. 50% lead. I was saying earlier in the broadcast that uh, Sagat can, like, and I'm sure a lot of other characters can do this, can block uh, the splashes and then punish with a crouching short to a special. Right, I'm sure, right. I'm sure yeah. Cody could do something similar. Um, right now, it uh, looks, looks like he's just trying to apply the pressure mainly, uh, keep uh, keep the match momentum in his favor as much as possible, which I think is always smart when playing as Forte. Here's a knockdown as a throw, and this is where things get a little sketch. Uh, well, making some good guesses right there. Yeah, kept his composure. Uh, looks like he threw him out of that EX run. Just got to keep him locked down. I like the throws on Forte's wake up because it beats his runaway. Yeah, and right. even EX run, even though it has armor, you still Whoa. throw it. That's you know, the, the best thing to do if Forte doesn't have armor is just keep him in block stun. Yep. That's the best thing you can do. Just lock him down, you know? You know, learn the rock, paper, scissors, because that's, you know, 70, 80% of the matchup right there. Yeah. But you got to learn how to keep Are him locked down. Because Forte has great ways of escaping, like, especially in the corner. Wow. This is an interesting sweep. Right. In the corner, I like yeah. the throw again, yeah. trying to run out of there. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a, a guacamole, and Nothing Man kind of puts himself back in the corner, working his way out. Oh, very nice focus. Focus in that raw ultra. Not going to kill him, but uh, nah. One more mix-up, though. Yeah, not much damage at all after that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Wow, he's read every single run on Wake Up so far. Yeah, very smart stuff. Man. Either blowing it up with a throw or armor breaking moves. Great read from Harrison so far. Wow, that double counter hit fierce. Such a gnarly combo. Look how much that took off, man. Oh you know, my god. If, if you've got wow. yeah, and the stun is incredible too. So you're gonna do that. Oh wow, you know looking for some tricky links. Yeah, there's another combo we could have gone for. I guess he's just trying to get fancy. Well, I mean, he's in complete control of this match, and he takes it just like that. Maybe he knew the uh, that was the only kill combo. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, stay, stay on. Yeah, uh, so it's... Uh, is that already two? Yeah, man, that was, that was super quick, that was man. That was a little that quick. Went, that went real real, real fast. Uh, so two to man and uh, Harrison. Okay, so uh, this is... They play each other a lot. The uh, Starbase Destiny battle. Exactly. The, the Starbase uh, you're, after, you're after this. You're going to play the winner of this. Yeah. Yeah. You're up. And then, yeah, winner of this match. Yeah. So. We got the Starbase uh, You can use that one. Out. Or I have an 8 arc down here if you want to use that. Okay. Hey, oh man. There's also mine right there. Uh. Yeah, thanks for joining us tonight, uh, Saturday Night Snapback. Uh, we're going to put on some Street Fighter Cross Tekken after this. We have a 2v2 tournament going on in the background. Uh, not a whole lot of teams, actually four teams, so we're doing a, a round robin. It's hard to get the teams together. It really is, man. It's 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 hard to, I mean, that's a eight-man singles. It turns into a four-man round <laughs> robin, so uh, 
you know, I think I think the community's got to figure out what they want to do because this isn't like a one-time occurrence, man. It's, yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe it's different in different regions, but here I'm in NorCal, sure. like I know a, a recent tournament got canceled because because yeah, because yeah. people aren't showing up. So and we were kind of you know scratching our heads, kind of like, well, you know, how do we handle this? So, but in any case, we are going to get some of those matches. Um, we're going to get some of those matches uh, on the stream after uh, after street, uh, street Fighter. And then after that, we're going to have uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, late uh, night. Yeah, late night Marvel. Uh, it's going to start around uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, so uh, spread the word. You know, uh, shoot this out to Twitter, post on Facebook, uh, yep. you know, the forums, all that. Let's get some more people. Because I know Marvel is always a lot of fun. We have uh, Win Zero and, and uh, Hanzo. Yeah, we got. We got. Well, I mean, everyone knows Hanzo's the best in the world right now. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, I, well, he's top Skullgirls player right oh, is now. He? Best in the world. <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if you've been following that on Twitter, that's been that's the true. story of the day. And uh, yeah, he actually he, he beat Win Zero for the first time uh, at the end the the season finale, which was uh, like two two three weeks ago. Oh, I heard and, about that. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I think I think Win Zero is trying to reclaim his spot uh, number one. Win Zero did win uh, season three. Uh, Hanzo. Oh, overall. Came, overall, yeah, cool, he, yeah, cool. he came second. So yeah, Hanzo only beat him uh, in one tournament, but wow. uh, they're always in grand finals. So then I entered Marvel two. I've been practicing a little bit, so I'm hoping that uh, I think I went 0 and two last it, time. It, it, and I was wait, like, oh, is Marvel two every Sunday now? Is that what I heard? Marvel two or is, old people games? Is that uh? Uh, no, we we're actually not running Marvel two anymore because people weren't really coming out oh, for it. Okay. Same for third strike, but CBS two, we're getting like 60 man brackets and stuff. Oh, so. really? Yeah, for wow. CBS two. Okay. So we're like, you know what? Let's just combine uh, KOF and CBS. And that's two. every Sunday. Yeah. Awesome. Well, not every Sunday. Well, like, like, like 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 every two KOF. Sunday. Yeah, exactly. I got you. So, I got you. Uh, just follow us on Twitter. App I play winner. We'll keep you updated. Awesome. Uh, in the meantime, we have uh, this match. Yeah. Uh, this looks bad. <laughs> yeah, this looks bad for Harrison. This kind of lead against Honda is something that's very hard to crack open. Yeah, it really is, especially if he just if he just sits on it. <laughs> well, I mean, wait, it's just like this kind of life lead, you can take your right hand off the controller because yeah. you know even if Harrison does get a great opener. He is not, it's not going to even out after just one good read. Well, and he's got a full stick of butter, too, man. And, exactly, uh, he's got that shield on him. Yeah. All right, there's one of them. Wow, that was wow. insane. And Either that was a good read, or that was just, I hope this works. And now, just like that, now it's even. But now Who-Man's got the meter. He yeah. saved it all for this moment. Yeah. And he's just going to sit down just as hard as he was before. Yeah. Oh, he's got a knife. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. <laughs> he's going to throw it. Chips. Oh, my oh that wow. Was, that was that was a slap to the face. That was incredible. Literal. I, there was zero reason for Who Man to that headbutt was, at that point. That was easily one of the best comebacks I've seen all night, man. That Who, was crazy. Who Man was not in chip danger. He was not anywhere. He didn't even use a headbutt that would make it all the way to Cody. So I don't even know what he was up to right yeah. there. But he's got the full meter. Another 50% lead. All right, even it out a little more. Both these characters just hit like a tank, though. That's they the do. They, they, and we need to remember, Honda used to do 10% more. <laughs> oh, yeah. On the top, just yeah. stack that on there. That's what would have happened in Super. Yeah. Oh, Super. Who, man, doesn't tend to go for the hand-hand Super combo. I think he's... Yeah, I've noticed that, actually. He's yeah. uncomfortable with the execution. He does do it every now and then. But sometimes in a comeback situation, he won't do it. And either, I don't know if he's messing it up, like hand, second hand too early, right. or he's just like, I want the meter. Yeah. I don't want to have no more headbutts. Well, cause, yeah, because I, I saw that earlier. We had that opportunity. Didn't Against you, Long, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, my God. another comeback right here. Reading those fierce and roundhouses. Getting that Ultra 1 in. Let's see if he makes another comeback. Once again, Cody in chip range makes wow. the comeback. That's amazing, man. And I think that's just, uh, it's really just a testament to these guys playing so, each other so much, you know. They know each other, right? So, yeah, so well. I mean, you're seeing those punishes, the ultra punishes uh, from Harrison. And that's the kind of stuff that you, you're not necessarily going to see people do if they don't really know exactly. what other players' They're just you know? extremely educated guesses. Yeah. After years of playing each other. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and the, I feel like these are always some of the best matches to watch too, because Definitely. they're almost look choreographed to, to a certain degree. You know, I mean, you you can expect a good match, yeah, always. And this is like this is you know quintessential NorCal 
uh, semi-rivalry right <laughs> yeah. here. Because obviously these guys are good friends, but yeah. they, they always want to get that lip on each other. Oh, of course. I mean, these guys came here together. It's the same car, so you know, <laughs> exactly. always want bragging rights on the way it's home. It's going to be a quiet ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to just be looking out the window. The whole time. <laughs> wow, that was a great reset. Jump, mutual jump roundhouse into the Ochio throw. Okay. All right, we got we got little youngins in the house right here too. All right, wow! Finally gets around on okay. Cody. Yeah, I think he's uh, getting his bearings a little bit now. I think he's just uh, seems like he's uh, forcing the action a little bit more instead of just uh, wait, waiting. Yeah, for his sitting down know? there, and yeah. then Harrison, you know, making his amazing reads. It was just like, okay, I'm coming to you this time. Yeah. Oh, very nice. And you can jump Pierce into a fat combo. That was, that was like 45 percent right there. That was. Uh, that was a combo video for a sec. Got a knife. <laughs> He's got a knife. Wow. Dread that empty jump stand fierce. Great block on the sumo smash. Crossed him up. Cody walks under it and recrosses himself. That could have been super right there. That could have been awful. In that spacing, you can always buffer super just for that chance oh, that yeah. you end the round right there. And this is a comeback situation, so I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't put it, put it past Two Man to kind of take that risk. That's true. Yeah. Because that's a kill combo right now. Yeah. Uh, a stand fierce and a super. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a throw. You can still bring it, but no meter. Don't use meter. Oh, okay. At that point, keep yeah. your head butts. Yeah. Got another another round. So uh, this is match point yep. for uh, Harrison. Who the man uh, has more than enough meter, as you said, to exactly. to bring this around his he way. Can, so. He can sit down as hard as he wants right now. Yeah. I mean, but Harrison has been, regardless of how much meter Who Man has, Harrison's been finding him, himself in there. Yeah. That's, yeah. That was a great anti-air. Yeah, Hoodoo Man's meter really hasn't even been a factor in this match, uh, which is interesting because right. that's usually... That's usually everything. Yeah, the determining factor yeah. when it comes to hot I mean, you remember that get your tournament statistic, right? Yeah, yeah. Hoodoo Man doesn't have meter, he loses what? Nine out of ten times? Something yeah. insane like yeah. that. But with meter, he like never loses. <laughs> So for those those of you who don't know, uh, Hoodoo Man went to Korea recently. Spent three months uh, yep. playing with a uh, cafe id guys, so like Poo Punko and all those guys. Friends with Punko with Laugh. Yeah. Played a. Uh, oh wow, wow! That was a crazy the crouching fierce. Uh, that was just a great, a great footsie read right there. Because Who Man was not very close to Harrison at that point, so he just buffered that. In uh, there. He's, he's up. Uh, yeah. All right, so we got Yurio Pop against Harrison. This is a. Uh, is it Yurio or U Pop? I thought it was U Pop. Well, there's an extra U in there, so I have no idea how he likes it to be pronounced. Hey, this is this Uyo. Is oh, Uyo, right? There's no U R. Yeah, Uyo. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, Uyo. Uh, I'm pronouncing Uyo. someone else's name. <laughs> uh, this is um, this is losers finals, and it's two out of three. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so losers finals, Harrison and uh, Uyo Pop. I feel like we have the. Uh, most brutal tournament format here at Southtown. No, no three out of five no, for winners or losers. No, Just we, like we do not care. Yeah, you better get your data early. I've been I've been going to I've been going to tournaments. Uh, I've been going to tournaments for like ten years now, and yeah. I gotta say that one thing that's always irritated me is three out of five. Not for majors, I don't I don't mind, but oh, for, yeah. like, for just like any other tournament. Three out of five, like losers and winners. It's just like come I, I on, mean, guys, for like a weekly, go, it's like guys, you play all the time. Yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, just get it in there. All right, so Guy Cody. So this should be really interesting. Uh, I mean, this is a final final fight showdown. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Uh, we just need Hagar in the back. Uh, so this have to, is, have to wait for Marvel. <laughs> exactly. This is another matchup that Harrison has a ton of experience in because one of the best one of the oh, best Doug, guys yeah. in NorCal is Doug, and yeah. he's a he's a the sleeper of NorCal. You know, you don't see him around very much. Yeah, man. But he will take your money in a money match. Yeah, he uh he uh Doug the Thug man. He uh, exactly. plays at Starbase pretty much. Plays at Starbase exclusively. Yeah, exactly. You don't see him anywhere else. He wasn't at NCR. He was at NCR last year. Yeah. Um. So okay. As we're talking, wow, Harrison has yeah, a okay. monster lead right now. Well, as expected, yeah. he's you know fighting one of the best guys for a long time now. Yeah. So it's gonna be yeah. No, you're absolutely right, man. It's gonna be hard to, to surprise uh, Harrison. I'm, I'm sure he's seen it all when it comes to rushdown. Right. And because it's like. See, look at that. That was great. He slid right under right that under. Uh, the he, push and push. He's probably seen that a hundred times yeah. before. 
So it's like on top of Harrison's like extremely solid fundamentals, mm -hmm. he's seen the tricks. Yeah. He's seen all the tricks. Also, Harrison plays a little bit of guy on the side, so... Okay, well, that always I mean, helps. Yeah, ha yeah Harrison, Harrison likes to put in the time with the casual characters. That's good, man. Like, when I, when I, was, when I played Third Strike competitively, I actually could, right. I could play the entire cast, like, in casual settings, yeah. and it helps so it much helps in tournaments. It helps a lot. You see those little tricks. Yeah. You also know kind of how the engine responds to each character. That's and you, true, and yeah. you know how certain tricks work rather than what they do. Right. It's a great help. But right now, I mean, the pressure was on mm -hmm. while I wasn't looking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, looks like Upop is uh, he's poised to take this one. Yep. And I think that that was just pure rush down. I think he was a little bit in Harrison's head right there. Yeah. Just a little too quick from the, to bring any momentum back on his side. And full meter. He's had full meter for a long time now. He yeah. didn't use any in that match. So this, this should be an interesting round. Uh, Harrison has enough meter to do some serious damage, man. He does. Oh, wow. That, uh, okay, couldn't punish. Oh, it wasn't counter hit, though, so he, yeah. couldn't, he couldn't get another low fierce in there, which I think he may have Was hesitated for, yeah. to do. Okay, wow. There he goes. That's a great time to zong. Wow, he used to like almost all the meter. He wanted to take his momentum. He goes, I got it now. Let me, let me see if I can keep it. Oh, wow, got the raw ultra. I was just about to close. say, why focus when you can back back strong? But that's what he wanted right there. He wanted that uh, he wanted that uh, focus punish. He's got a knife. <laughs> oh, Ooh. I thought he was going to shake him right there. Oh, shake. Wow, okay. That's got to hurt to land on a knife. <laughs> Cody playing dirty, picking up weapons. It was a good match overall, you know. That uh, was a good match. You know, a lot of momentum shifts. Yeah. You know, definitely wasn't just a Harrison show right there. We got Uyu Pop with some great momentum, which we've seen much earlier in the tournament. Him really lighting some people up. I great mean, pressure. Look at that. And, you know, Harrison, you know, Cody without, like, a great reversal can be really susceptible to stuff like that, oh, you know, with yeah. how unsafe Zonk is and how right. some, sometimes unreliable Criminal Upper is. Absolutely. So, wow, okay, interesting. Jumping back, wow. I think he, he'd be better off, yeah, good job keeping him in the corner. Okay, there it is. And that's, that's it, okay. Uh, interesting, he used meter. I don't know if he was just trying to poke right there. Or I what think the uh, maybe it was a hesitation on if he was close enough to link into Upper, maybe, I don't know. I don't know why he saw it, because he always just Uppers. Or you know what? Maybe uh, easier to chip him out. Right. Less start up on that. If he drops it, it, you still get the chip. So the uh, winner of this goes on to fight LPN in Grand Finals. LPN, LPN showing up, making us sweat, yeah. making us try. <laughs> He's easily, top, I feel like, top three Street Fighter player in uh, He North is Island. up there. Yeah. He is up there. I mean, I've been in the middle of discussions on who is good, and we easily top five. Yeah. Like, if you got down and got your notepads out <laughs> yeah. and you really cranked out, you know, that discussion, he is easily top five. Yeah. Fairly uh, even match here. Uh, Upop has a uh, meter, but he's he's got to win this round if he wants to stay in it. So. And, you know, he's in the corner right now. Harrison just content to keep him there. Ooh. Oh, and right as I say that, he just goes in. And, and there's the super. Wow. That super raw does good damage. Okay, and this I, is... Oh wow, really tense. Aye, okay. Wow, so good you job. know what? That was a great time to super because you lose that round, that meter don't, didn't mean anything. But Cody brought it back. So now it's uh, Harrison and, and uh, LPN. LPN. This is our, our grand finals. It is. Uh, Harrison being in losers has to win six matches. Yeah. The first three to reset the bracket put LPN into losers. And then it's an even match. I don't remember... Uh, uh, oh, I remember that Harrison and LPN actually played in top eight for Jomstruction, and LPN oh, actually did knocked oh, out right. Harrison uh, for that tournament. That was a while ago. Um, um, I can't really remember if they fought at any other point. I mean, they played plenty in casuals, but I have not seen... I haven't seen Cody Cami from Harrison and LPN. Uh, he was playing Adon against him in Jomstruction, so we'll see... Grand you know, finals, right? yeah, yeah. This is grand finals. This, yeah. is, this is grand finals. Okay, there's a there's a mishap uh, one week where I trolled 
Harrison, <laughs> and I thought he knew it was grand finals. He's like, this grand finals? I'm not oh, grand finals. I remember that. I yeah, actually and remember then that. He, then he played three matches with Sagat thinking he was just playing casuals, and I was oh, like, well. Geez. And then I, I forget who he's playing. Oh, it was, it was illiterate. And, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. That's uh, okay, just and it's just a quick update here. We're, this is good. we're gonna have a short intermission because um, LPN's actually playing Street Fighter Cross Tech. And oh, okay. It should wrap up shortly. Uh, but uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, it's far from over. Uh, after the grand finals, we are gonna have Street Fighter Cross Tech, and and then we'll run uh, Marvel Three. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and again, you know, Street Fighter Cross Tech, and as we mentioned earlier, only has four teams, so we're, it's probably only gonna be a handful of matches before right. we switch it over to Marvel and you see know, see what happens. Uh, I'm not too sure who who all here is for for Marvel. Uh, Will's in it. Will Powers in it. I believe I believe uh, Illiterates in it. And then the rest of the people, I, I don't uh, really know their names. I think they just kind of walked in. Oh, you mean for uh, Street Fighter? For Cross Tekken. Oh, Cross Tekken. Yeah. Okay, yeah. For, for for Marvel, I know. Oh yeah, uh, you were talking about Marvel. Uh, besides like the the regulars, like uh, uh, Hanzo's here. Hanzo and and Winzio. I'm not sure yeah. who, who else. Um, uh, but. I think Harrison. I think Harrison's staying for Marvel. That? Are you staying for Marvel? Yeah, 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 yeah. Harrison staying from Marvel. So, yeah. you know, you you got the names you remember. Uh, I'm not sure about the the in between. I'm recognizing some faces. I just don't know their name. Once again, uh, shout outs to Adark uh, for supplying uh, beautiful. Joy yeah, joy joysticks uh, to the winners of uh, season season four. So winners of Street Fighter, KOF, CBS two, and uh, Marvel will receive an Adark uh, joystick. Uh, follow them on Twitter wow. and Facebook. Wow, I didn't yeah. even know about that. Yeah, so that we actually just announced it today. I should have tried harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why LBN came out. Uh, then, yeah, of maybe. Course, uh, follow uh, South Allen on Twitter and uh, like him on Facebook. And uh, we're actually going to get into uh, grand finals here. All right. And uh, <laughs> of course, you can uh, you can follow Hans. Oh, on that's Twitter, right. Yeah, at I, Hans, you can follow me at SFGeef. You can follow all these guys, really. You can follow Harrison. You can follow. I'm pretty sure. Ha yeah, Long Harrison has one. SBA is his Twitter yeah, account. Yeah, Harrison SBA. Uh, and then uh, LPN is Ooh It's LPN It's with a Z, and yeah. it's like three O's or something. Yeah, you know, not a great Twitter name. Yeah, gonna it's put really that nice. out there. Yeah, you gotta have something that's real, real simple. <laughs> you know, or else God. people just aren't gonna follow you. I think one of my buddies mm. had a had an account where it was just like. It, it looked like like a high security password. It was just oh my god! I'm like, dude, do you want people to listen to you? So uh, this should be good. Uh, and as we mentioned earlier, uh, and if you guys didn't keep up with the tournament, if you just now showed up, uh, Harrison, he uh, he's in losers, so he's got to win yeah. uh, two sets. This yep. is three out of five grand finals. And uh, with LPN being so, uh, winners, he's got it's not not as difficult for him to uh, take this home. So yeah, put the put the pot on the coffee because. Uh, it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> yeah, this this. Well, well, we'll see. I mean, you know, LPN is a is a pretty aggressive player. That's true. Uh, and you know, with Cami, I've seen I've seen some real quick matches tonight. Yeah, uh, with his Cami. So we'll see what happens. And uh, we are seeing uh, Cami Cody. Oh, that you know, I think they actually played. Um, let me look at the bracket. Actually, I think uh, LPN might play, actually. Did send they play earlier? Oh, I you know I what? Think, I, I think they did. You're yeah, right. They did. I, and that was also Cami Cody. And I, you know, wasn't it wasn't pretty, man. I'm no, not, I don't think it was. I, th yeah. I think it was pretty one-sided. I think yeah. Harrison got his rounds where he could get them. But this is his chance to, you know. Yeah, no, that was second round. They played second round. Oh, that's and, right. That uh, was very early. And uh, but uh, so 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 Harrison needs to do this for Starbase because after LPM beat Harrison, he then beat Hootaman. He beat Hootaman, saying Hootaman yeah. to losers. Then Harrison beat Hootaman. So, you know. If you don't want an awkward car ride home, <laughs> yeah. it's already awkward enough. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, but then it's like, so knock me out and then lose the long. Good job. <laughs> yeah, great work, Who's man. Which are you on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so get uh, get right into it. Uh, along already uh, pushing Harrison in the corner. Good throw, gets him out. Uh, he really doesn't want to wow. let LPM breathe here. Really he's waiting for something to react to. Yeah, once you once you let him let the beast out of the cage, man. Right. <laughs> Hard, real hard to deal with, and I think if as long as he doesn't get thrown or you know knocked down, I think he can uh, make this work. Uh, that's where you know it was where obviously Cammy shines, and, the, and here he goes. Yeah, this just turns into a guessing Can't game. React to that hooligan. And I'm trying to think of any uh, Starbase Cami players. I know A Rival played uh, Cami, you know, a while back. Yeah. That, uh, I mean, in my experience, I haven't seen any Camis in a while. I haven't seen yeah. Camis in just a while. Just in general, time. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Uh, but now, now we're all learning the matchup. Yeah. We're like, oh, geez, if Long shows up, we're going to be in trouble. All right, so Long took that first round. Definitely wasn't a molly whopping. But Harrison's in the corner. Oh. Harrison really just sitting there. Once he takes away Long's momentum, he doesn't seem to be trying to get it back for himself. He's just kind of sitting down waiting for Long to do something. Which, if he's got an idea of how that's going to work out for him, then that's great. Because really, I don't know how this matchup works out. You know, it's just... Uh I think it's just really hard to keep him out of the air, you know? It, it, like, or keep Cammy out of the air, rather, you know? The difficulty is the ambiguous cross-ups. I really like the jump fierce from Cammy right there. Right. Because, you know, Harrison could have been ready. Oh, here comes the cannon strike. And, like, yeah. oh, wait, jump fierce, which you get in situations where Cammy gets, like, these ridiculous jump-ins, and you're just like, how did they get that? It's because it's actually pretty ambiguous. Right. All right, in the corner again, really quick. And that's what I was saying, you know, as long as you can stay on his feet, you know, tech the throws and, you know, not get swept and things like that, you can, you can probably make this work. But right. uh, as soon as he's on the ground, it's real tough. It, uh, like, Harrison can't seem to get his offense going. And it, right. it, it almost seems like that he's not really going for that. But if he, wanna make, if he wants to make something happen, it looks like that's, that's what he's got to do. He's got to make some of those great reads that he was doing against Who Man. Right, and I think it's just, you know, he's really familiar with that Honda matchup and the guy matchup. And you saw he looked a lot more comfortable in those matchups where, you know, he's had liter literally years of yeah. radness. Yeah. And uh, so you can see he's, he's facing a character you can just tell right, right out of the gate. Less comfortable. Yeah. Uh, much less. So playing, you know, much, much more hesitant than he is in other matches. Okay. I mean, I know how Kami can get into your head. Definitely. I mean, I got knocked out of NCR against a Kami. One of my friends just picked up Kami, and now he's beating me. And it's oh just my like, God. oh, my goodness. All right, Harrison wants his, to sit on this life lead. You can tell just being less aggressive, but blowing up Long's momentum right there. Yeah, he's doing all right this round. Maybe he's uh, uh, found out a couple of things. Yeah, maybe he's in the right place right now. Wow. And uh, Long, as uh, Magus likes to say, he's a very explosive player, man. Yeah, you know, it's, you feel like you, you feel like you you you're onto something, and maybe you have yep. him in a position, you know, and you're in a favor favorable position, and then he will just use all his meter just to uh, get the momentum back in his favor, and that's kind of what we saw happen there. So exactly. Uh, and that's that's two already for long. I mean, uh, Harrison almost brought it back right there. He got this great anti-air stand fierce, but it you know LPN just got right back in there. He didn't let that stop him for a second. Harrison looks like trying to escape right there. That was a great neutral jump, but once again, Long gets right back in there with some low shorts. Oh, now LPN sitting down a little bit. Wow, okay. Can't believe that whiffed at that range. Good All right, it's even right now. Yeah. And they're both sitting down. All right, Harrison's got the lead. Is he going to sit down? Yeah, I feel like mentally Harrison needs this round to really stay in this. You he, know? he wants to hold on to it. I don't yeah. think he wants to do any tricks right now. I think he yeah, nice. okay. I think that was great. This is. I think this will give him the confidence that he needs to, to turn this into a fight, you know? Exactly. As risky as that was, yeah. that feels good. Yeah. That feels good right there. You know, you got that chip that you did not want that round to go any longer. Drops the soccer combo. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. Great back dash. Made that whiff. Good punish. Keeping the pressure on. Oh, okay. That's and here, momentum shift right okay. here. Boom. Yeah. Can't was... react to that hooligan. Both players using a lot of meter. Wow, this is this is a scrap right now. Ambiguous goes for the not cross up again. Okay. Okay. Momentum shift. What's he gonna do? Did that catch it? Oh, oh. Me, oh no, that's it. That's it. That's awful when you get that anti air. So this is uh, tournament point. Wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh. Sorry to those who you know put the nachos in the microwave, but you've already <laughs> missed the match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's going to be a nice long set. Exactly. Set. Go. I think I'll get there at the end of the second round. No, sorry. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, okay, wow. Harrison with a great lead right now. Uh, he needs to hold on to it. And, uh, and, you know, the momentum has shifted. Long's back in there. Crazy double whiff right there. Wow. Both players just really trying to hold on to what they've got right now. In the corner, put out some pressure. Bait that upper. Wow, and a throw. Back in the corner. Momentum shift again. Ooh. Oh, and he wanted that zonk so badly. And that was your grand finals. Yeah, wow. Long takes it. Woo. Congratulations. You know, Long strolling in here. Business casual clothing. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Done. Yeah. Oh, now they're putting. Now they're, like, like, now nice. they're having fun. Oh, he's got a knife. Okay, so that's uh, that. That wraps it up. I guess they're just playing some casuals now. All right, good. Uh, congratulations to Long for first place, Harrison for second place, and Uyo Pop for, for third, third place. For third place. Yeah. So again, this is just a casual match. Uh, we're actually. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, right. I'm gonna switch this over to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Very cool. And. Uh, so just enjoy the casuals uh, for the next couple minutes here. Sure. I'm gonna get a, a drink of water. I guess I suppose S of Geek will keep you entertained for yeah. a little bit. I'll do my best. And uh, so um, I don't know how many matches are left in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, but yeah, we're gonna s switch it over to that in just a minute, and then it's uh, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. Very in cool. the meantime, you know, uh, tweet this out, put it on Facebook, get out on the forums. Let's get some more viewers in here and uh, keep the momentum going. We probably still have a good, uh, probably a good uh, two three hours left in the night. So yeah, definitely.